Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another stream and another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. How's everyone? <laughs> How's everyone doing today? We got Mink, you glad to see. Thank you for stopping on by with the wah. It's so jarring. I'm so not used to having things like, uh, like redeems, you know? <laughs> I'm so not used to having, uh, uh, the, all those like sound cues like playing randomly <laughs> But they are amazing. They bring me immense joy Just how Jingo is heckin cute in this game and the fact that she named a cute little puppy Cerberus gives me immense joy Hell yeah, Minkyu. Hell yeah <laughs> Yeah, Jingo is adorable. Uh, I, I love her little uh, little, Like sassy attitude she's got you know like uh, like mother like a daughter I suppose right very uh, you, you can tell those two are related Ashley and Jingo <laughs> I'm very curious to see how she will, you know, grow up to be, you know? I'm very curious to see, like, what type of character she's gonna be. Because, I mean, we've had plenty of characters, right? Like Tita and, uh, and, and Ren. A lot of characters that were, you know, very, very young. And then, uh, like, as the games went on, as we played more and more of these games, they've gotten, like, bigger and bigger roles. <laughs> and so, like, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see if, if maybe one day, maybe one day we're gonna have Jingo as, like, a main character, a playable character. Hopefully that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. I would, uh, I'd be happy with that. But, but yes, but yes. So, uh, <laughs> maybe you want to uh, shield your, your ears, Minkyu, because, uh, oh boy. We, 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 we did some things last time. Like, I know you just started Legend of Heroes Trails of Ghost Steel 3 the other day. And, uh, I, I, I'm curious to see how far you've gotten already. But we, we here are at the very end of the game. We're in the final chapter, finally. Lurk. Thank you for the lurk. I Minkyu, mean, always appreciate. Oh, man. Before we get into that, I guess I, uh... Ah, last night was rough for me. Like, oh my god, I don't know what was up, but, like... Like, I've been having some real, like, like chest congestion. It's allergies. You know, that's that's what it is. I've been having some real, like, chest congestion. So, I'm like, oh, it's been annoying. And then, like, last night, I was just like, I could not get comfortable. I could not... Like, like, I was too warm, then I was too cool, and then I was just, like, not comfortable, and so, like, ah, oh, it sucked. I could not fall asleep. I was just tossing and turning all night long. I think I finally got about, like, about 4 a.m. I think I conked out until about, like, 9 a.m., and then, like, that was, that, that was about that. <laughs> then I just started my day. I just went ahead and started doing whatever I had to do, and, uh... Oh yeah, it's got me. It's, it's got me feeling pretty, uh, pretty run down today. I got some uh, allergy medicine in me and stuff like that, though. So you know, we're trying. We're, we'll see what happens. I noticed we have dropped a hundred frames already, but uh, on Tuesday we also dropped like a hundred frames right off the get go, and then everything was fine after that. So we should be relatively fine. Play for over ten hours, and I'm only going to the old school building for the first time with Milliam and Altina. That sounds about right, though. That sounds about right. Like I, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what my like timetable was in this game, but granted also we have moments like this, right? Where generally speaking we spend like the first like <laughs> 10, 20, 30 minutes of stream just like walking around in a circle in whatever area that we've uh we've been in. Can I am I zoomed in? Oh my god, no I am. I'm zoomed in. That is I feel like I'm so much farther away from Reen than usual, but I guess this is normal. This is normal Reen levels. 
God, this game though, it's it's getting crazy. It is getting crazy. So yeah, last time we finished off all of the remaining bonding events. So if you take a little look, see at my uh, my character notebook here, we've hung out with every single character. For some reason though, I missed something with Claire. I've no idea what I missed with Claire, but apparently I missed something with Claire because she uh, is only at two and a half stars instead of the three stars that she should be at. Got no idea what that is. I have I have one idea about what it might be, but I don't know if that would really would count. I don't know if that's really like a, a real thing. So I think I just didn't talk to her at some point in time. I didn't do I, like I don't know. I, I didn't pick like the correct choice. I didn't hang out with her at a time that I could have hung out with her. But I swear that I've done everything in this game. That I've done every single side mission, and we did get our um, end of chapter like report right in Code Steel or in uh, in the last chapter right. In, in the last stream and uh, we got an S rank so obviously that chapter we were fine there's a couple of chapters that we didn't get a hundred percent but um, we got like 417 out of the 415 that I need and I'm guessing that's probably like 420 right that, that seems like a, a nice round number <laughs> but uh, yeah we've gotten the majority of things in this game so uh, yeah I don't know I, I, I don't know definitely not 100 percent but like fighting Aurelia on hard mode with just Reen, that's rough. That's pretty rough. Like, winning that fight? I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, either way, we have reached the uh, the final chapter of this game. And I just, you know, I, I thought that I had everything, right? I thought I had went through and took a screenshot of everything in this guide that is missable. But evidently, I was incorrect about that. And so, I went through and, and there's a few things. There's a few things that uh, we, we still need to get, so... I got that up, and we will make sure to get those before we go into the finale of this game. What's up, brother Doom? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Oh, yeah, we're getting right on into it. Uh, yeah, last time, the spoilers were starting for, tr for, for real now. Uh, we had all of our bonding events, and then we, uh, we had this whole, like, very fancy dance at the, uh, at the Valflame Palace. The, uh, the heart of the Emperor. Of, of the Empire. And, um... <laughs> Speaking of the heart of the Emperor, freaking Ash Carbide, our very own Class 7 Ash, just went and did an assassination attempt on the Emperor of all of Erebonia. Which, god damn, god damn, lurking, welcome, welcome on in, Panda, thank you for the lurk, appreciate you, glad to see you, thanks for stopping on by, hopefully your day's going all well. I mean, I was saying that I didn't get much sleep last night, but I think you got about the same amount of sleep that I did. <laughs> uh, I usually have a pretty good sleep schedule. But, uh, I, I, I feel like last night none of us were sleeping. But, but yeah, so, we, uh, we had an assassination attempt, and now uh, martial law has been invoked, and... Oh, shit is hitting the fan. It is hitting the fan, alright. Ash and Altina are out of the party. I've got, uh, Reen, Yuna, Kurt, and Muse, which... Not exactly the dream team, but, you know, I guess it is what it is. Not a terrible setup, I suppose. Not a terrible one. But yeah, so uh, we got we, we got to go over to, to this tree, and then Emma will get us will teleport us to the the like final area. I'm assuming. But before we do all of that, we got a bunch of little side optional stuff to be doing. And also, I don't remember doing any of this stuff, so I might have skipped it back whenever I was uh, <laughs> younger. When I played this the first time, I might have just been like, nah. All the stuff to do now is wait for the machines. That's what look Gwen. Based to be honest, trying to assassinate the Emperor. I mean, I like the Emperor of this, uh, uh of this universe. It's the Chancellor that, uh, I, I would have preferred <laughs> Ash try to assassinate. But, uh, as we've seen before, there's anime bullshit going on, and despite getting shot through the heart, the, the, uh, the good old Chancellor Gilith Osborne is not, he's not dead. Because apparently, we found out last time, he doesn't have a heart. He, uh, like Reen, whenever he was a kid, whenever he was just a baby, um, whenever those Jaegers attacked his home and killed his mom, uh, they also managed to, like, puncture Reen's heart. Like, he, he had a, uh, like, like, some sort of blast that, like, had punctured through his heart. And so, with some devil-worshipping anime bullshit powers, they, <laughs> Gilly Thosborn was able to transplant his heart into Reen's body, and it just worked. It was just fine. <laughs> but yeah, it, 
we're getting we're getting to the the like more like anime part of, of this game. I told you though, like Code Steel Three is whenever this series really starts to go a little bit more anime, and uh, I, that's a pretty <laughs> that's a pretty astute summarization right there. Yeah, this guy got assassinated, but he's still alive. How is he alive? Was it a body double? No, he just doesn't have a heart. Okay, <laughs> leave it to the politician to not have a heart. Hey, but don't worry your pretty little heads about it. So Schwarzer, how's the power of yours treating you lately? Well, I'm able to control it better than I could, but... I see. In a current situation, you'll find yourself needing to rely on it more than ever. You say there's a chance of you losing control of it again through overuse. Well, if he tries to force it out, there's certainly still a risk of that. In that case, how about you give me a taste of that power? Right here and now. Wait, now? Right here in the camp? Well, I can't say it wouldn't be good training. But don't you think it would be a bit risky in our current situation? Ha, <laughs> pay no mind to the Imperial Defense Force. At the end of the day, this is our field exercise camp. I'll take care of things on that front. Schwarz, if you're afraid you might lose control, I won't force you. But provided you don't get too crazy, it shouldn't cause any significant disruptions. Besides, you've got me here. Hmm. Well, Alright then. I guess we're, we're fighting Aurelia. Alright, I'll unleash my power against you, if you're okay with that. Excellent. God, that, that's pretty cool, though. We had this exact same thing in Code Steel uh, 1. Whenever we went to Legram, which is Laura's hometown, the Arsade, like, um, the, 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 the province that the Arsades, like, rule over, we had a, a moment where, uh, like, baby Reen, back whenever he was in, in school, a little, little teenager, little teeny bopper Reen. Oh no, error? Did I have an error? What happened? What happened on YouTube? Are you winning, son? Ah, we're, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> How you doing, Roxy? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Also, Kaiju, welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Yeah, we're playing Legend of Heroes today. I'm very tired because uh, I didn't really sleep last night. And I think I got some, like, allergies building up. I'm trying real hard to not get sick, but something's trying real hard to get me sick. But yeah, I don't know. I think we might have had like, a little drop there. I didn't see anything drop on my side, but YouTube just gave me a little error. Sleep is overrated anyways. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> oh, I wish that we didn't... That our, our bodies weren't this weak, this pitiful sleeping, eating... Ah, I don't want to have to deal with any of that. I just want to do things. I just want to be able to be productive on all hours of the day without having to take care of myself. But, uh... <laughs> that's not exactly possible, huh? Not exactly possible. But yeah, uh... So, yeah, like I was saying, in Legram, we, we fought uh, Viscount Arsade, which is the first time that Reen let loose with his powers. Because he... Reen knows that he needs to, like, control this power in some way, shape, or form. Because it's, uh, it'd be a good... It's basically a Super Saiyan form. That's basically what Ogre, the, uh, the Ogre form is. But, uh, he couldn't exactly just go all out against any random individual, right? Or, or like, any monsters. Because, like, what if he went too crazy? He needs somebody that's reliable enough to stop him. And, uh, the Radiant Blade Master, one of the strongest guys in the entirety of Erebonia... Yeah, that, that, that guy would definitely be somebody that you can trust to, like, hold you down if you get a little too crazy with it. And Aurelia, his student, a master of both the Arsaid and the Vander School styles, who's stronger than, uh, than Victor S. Arsaid is himself. Yeah, yeah, he, he would be, or she would be a pretty good, uh, a pretty good second choice, you know? No, no, I did see we, we were dropping some frames. Oh, no. That ain't good, that ain't good. Um, let me know how bad it is. Like, I don't, uh, I, I see we are dropping some frames, but, like, so far it's only been, like, a little bit? But, I don't know, I might try and, like, change some things around if it's buffering hella hard. Or, like, skipping around, lagging. Let me know. Let me know, let me know. Always oh, something with it, right? I thought I had it, uh, it, it down pat, though. Like, I thought that we had, like, whatever issues we were having with this. Because Tuesday stream was fine. Initially, it had a little bit of a weirdness, but, uh... Then it was fine for the rest of the stream, so I was kind of hoping that was going to be what it was like today as well. But oh well. Anyways, this should do. Didn't expect you to be here. Who dis? Lady Aurelia, how can I help you? Please tell me what is going on. That's just a distraction. Better teach Schwarzer here a lesson. Uh, a lesson? Oh, use of weapons is prohibited. I'm already following most of the rules as is, so I'd appreciate you cutting me some slack. B but in any event, how do you justify treating a student of the branch campus like a dog of Calvert without any proof whatsoever? If you do not wish to irritate me any further, then be a deer and keep quiet for a while. 
By the way, I would appreciate it if you pass my sentiments along to your superiors. Mm, we do not want to complicate the situation by causing any additional issues. Thus, we will just pretend like we didn't see anything. <laughs> Hell yeah. I really, I really am putting people in their place. She shut them down so aggressively. Not expect nothing less from our principal. I suppose I underestimated you. Well, it happens all the time. Alright then. Unleash your full strength. Alright. Ogre form. Two! No, nah, it's just, it just our, our spirit unleashed or whatever. It was really something. Yeah, what incredible power. So impressive every time I see it. <laughs> you say, damn it. Here I go! <laughs> Come! Now, give it your all! Uh, we'll see what happens. I, uh... I yeah! do not remember doing this whenever uh, I played this game the first time, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Although, it seems like I have unlimited... Uh, of, of that stuff. I got Let's unlimited go. uh, Spirit on. Unleashed, so I can just be using this stuff a whole lot. I uh, probably should have done something like a um, in passion and like earth pulse things like that, but I'm not awake enough to like figure things out. We'll just go with it and see what happens. Do about 10,000 a swing. Ooh, nice dodge rate. Only doing about a thousand damage per swing, which is not terrible for me. Um, all right, sure. Fail helix again. We may as well, right? May as well. Probably wanted to start this fight off with that, but with that, that one thing. Dynasty Thunder. I can't remember. Well, I'm in arm resistant to everything, so it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I got that free 30% HP heal. Quite nice. You love to see it. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I could. Uh. I kind of wanted to throw an impassion up. Yeah. I kind of want to throw an impassion up, considering. Yeah. Do whatever the hell you want to do. That one. So yeah, I got my CP recovery. It'd be quite it's nice to turn. have. It'd be quite nice to have. I probably should have done that at the beginning of the fight, but I'm stupid, so it's fine. Yeah, now every time that I do an attack, I should be getting... I should be able to do the helix as much as I want. And not have to really worry too much. Ouchie. It's my turn. If I do a regular attack here... Hmm, interesting. I could do a regular attack... Or could I do this? Ah, uh, she doesn't have <laughs> any delay. So I was thinking, like, I could heal up. That would give me my CP. Then I can interrupt. How much damage am I looking at here? I'm certainly not going to do 112,000 damage. Yeah, all right, never mind. I was thinking that I could do something a little, a little cheeky, right? Could do a quick little heal and then follow that up with a, uh, an S break because the 30% H or the 30 CP heal that I could get over there would be quite nice to have, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. We might be able to get... Because it's a critical coming up, right? I might be able to break her. And then... Uh, ooh! That's beautiful. Oh, a critical as well. Love to see it. She got two turns in a row, but the only one that did anything was that one down there. Um... Okay, you know what? I think I should do a little a little heal. A little heal. Becky, let me heal. So why not? B tier, we get the free BP as well. Didn't heal me up all the way, as I was hoping it to, but it's fine. Uh, bring back the Raging Let's Fire. Go. We may as well. It's my turn. And yeah, okay, so I'm going to use this attack because it impedes her to actually hold up. No, yeah, I'm going to do that anyways. Uh, and I might even break her, which would be a lot of fun. But we'll see. She did not break her. Okay, pass. we're fine. I'm going to just put this just to play safe, because that might have gave me some delay. And I don't really want to get delayed. So Ash and Mortal Leaves, this is... Yeah, that, that was going to be a lot of damage, because the critical and everything. That, uh... Like, it, she's broken now, which means that she can do some... We can do some serious damage here. But I think what I need to do instead is just re-up my Impassion. Yeah, re-up my Impassion. She gets a turn. Hopefully she doesn't go all out here. Interesting. Okay. She's going all out here. But... What Let's I'm going to do is Iron Will, because I feel like now... We are now in the moment where she is going to do some serious damage here coming up. So, what I'm going to do is heal myself up, give myself the uh, damage reduction, and so, uh, yeah, this attack. Let's see if I can withstand this. I'm literally as maxed out as I can be. I could not withstand that. Oh my god. 
Wow. Okay, her Rakshasa Onslaught. If I let that attack land... Whew. If I let that attack land, it's gonna suck. I really want to, like, retry this fight. But at the same time, we do have, like, we, we did reach rank S, so we don't necessarily have to. Mmm, I feel like we're getting pretty lucky. You know what? We'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time. We may as well. Now, give it your all. Give it your all. But yeah, that was as much damage reduction as I could have. That attack will just straight up murder Let's me. Because I had, I have my normal defense, right? My, my normal defense. But that red defense down there means that it's plus 50%. So I got a 150% a of my defense. On top of that, I had Iron Will, which means that it's a 50% damage reduction. So she's doing half the damage she would be doing. Whereas I'm taking, um, I'm only taking 50% of the damage that I, I would normally be taking. So technically I'm taking like, that was like 25% of, uh, of her health. <laughs> and, or 25% of, of the damage dealt. And it was still enough to just straight up murder me. <sighs> you can't say really it doesn't uh, that she's she's not quite powerful quite terrifying Let's go. Okay, but um, eh, I probably shouldn't have done that at that turn she probably should not have done that at that turn, but it's fine <sighs> Or right, whatever. I'm patching myself. Yeah. It's fine yeah. Normal attack. I did a thousand damage that time. I guess it's like Estimate either way. Um Yeah, I don't <sighs> She's probably going to get that critical, which is not exactly ideal, or whatever. Helix Strike! Yeah. Big attack, and then she's going to do that one. Which, yeah, that, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt quite a lot. Alright, um, pulling out Tira. It's a zero art, so it's free. Ah, oh, she's, okay, she's not. That's cool. I'm going to get it. I thought she was going to get the 10%, and I was like, well, this is just null and void then. This entire set is, is just not happening. <laughs> Roar. Fatal Helix. Helix Try that one. She gets ooh, that dodge rate though that I'm getting is pretty uh pretty 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 nice. Pretty nice stuff. Alright, uh do I wanna use this one or do I wanna use I mean this is just the best attack. It really just is. Alright, ooh, we got a twelve thousand there. Not bad at all. But yeah, like I need to break her and then use the two hundred percent. Because that's like the only only chance that I got of, of doing anything here. Uh, alright, I don't have that anymore, so I may as well impassion myself. Uh, yeah. Alright, that one. She's charging up an attack. Dynasty Thunder! I'm Resistant up. to everything that you do, though, babe. Alright, uh, yeah. Let's go. Raging, Raging Fire. Probably should have healed up first, to I'm be up. honest with you. How much else she's got? Eh, decent amount. Uh, yeah, I probably should have healed and then done this, but whatever. I'm stupid. I'm Marcus stupid, activate. so it's fine. Oh. Gonna have some heal, and we'll just we'll play through. It's I'm losing turn. one turn, which is not you know terrible, but it's also not the best. Roar! Roar! All right. Oh, she's gonna get uh, quite a few turns this time around. Thankfully, she does that a lot. I bet I'm not close enough to do any damage to her. Oh, we are close enough where I can probably. Okay, this is gonna this this is kind of this is kind of interesting. So this is enough to break. If the attack landed, that was gonna be enough. Wow, she got so many turns back to back there because I missed. I missed one attack and then she got like four back to back. Oh, that sucks. All right, healing myself up again. Okay, okay. Do I have impassion? I do not have impassion. Uh, this is a very sucky situation because I want to impassion but I do not want to give her the uh, the turn over there man <laughs> not a not a not a uh, great situation we found ourselves in uh, so I could impassion because mm, giving her the 10% health would be really bad It'd be a plus uh, like 14 Thousand, yeah. He plus fourteen thousand hit points for her, which I really do not want her to have. That <laughs> ah, it sucks. And there's not really any way that I can interrupt that either. So I need impassion so that I can use the big attack. I could, I could, I could just hope and pray. Like that, that might be the uh, the move here. Is just to hope and pray that she doesn't do anything too crazy. All right, you know what? Regular basic bitch attack. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah. 
That actually worked out. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that actually really worked out. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I basically, it was a waste of a turn there. I did a little bit of damage, but it's fine. It's what we actually was able to do. It worked out quite well. Oh, we also got a free critical go. coming up here. Okay, so... Yeah, Fatal Helix. Uh, no, 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 hold, wait. Mm, yeah, yeah, I'm just doing it now. Raging Fire. Get ourselves that triple order. It's my turn. Now, Fatal Helix. Hope this friggin' lands. There you go. Now she's broken. It's my now turn. I got one turn. Um, still got my impassion. Okay, so yeah. It's gonna be a little weird, but I'm gonna do a regular attack. And then I'm gonna follow that up with the, uh, the S break. Because yeah, that with the impassion, it gives me 200%, so I'm able to do that. This is not gonna do enough damage. My mind is this is not gonna do enough damage, but like... Well done. Yeah, 41,000. Pretty solid. Also, she got a 30% HP heal. Yeah, this is game over. Interesting. Turn to dust. She got a 30% HP heal there. That's what, like 45,000 hit points? Uh, actually, that might actually... I don't know, because she had the, like, the, the thing. She had the statement. She hasn't done military might yet, which is making me feel hopeful. But, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens, huh? Alright, Tira... <sighs> Let her do whatever she's doing. Yeah, yeah. Heal myself. She doesn't... Because as soon as she does military might, that's when it's going to be a real... Like, real problematic for me. So, uh... Yeah. I'm going to try and keep her away from that. And considering she hasn't done that yet... We might have a little bit of, of time to do some things. Do some funny. We might have some time to do some funny. We'll see. Because <laughs> I can do 40,000 if she's broken. But breaking her is going to be... Quite difficult to do. Um, alright, yeah, whatever. Means we'll do that. 13,000, not bad. Okay. That's probably a game set match. Yep, that's a game set match. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really need to put, like, Angel on, on Reen there. Alright. Again, like I said at the beginning of the stream, Aurelia on, on hard mode, she is dastardly. She is so difficult to deal with. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll take that loss. I'll take that loss. It's a little accurate that I wouldn't be able to beat her anyways. This is it. You've definitely improved since the last time we fought, but it appears you are unable to take that one step forward. Actually, perhaps the long-term use of your power is a double-edged sword. No, I think it's just that I'm still not skilled enough. Sorry, after you took the time to duel me, too. Whatever the case, do not be too down on yourself. Moving forward, do not misjudge when it is time to use your power. Instructor Reen, being said, a wall like this is far too high to overcome. I thought for sure he'd be able to do something about it. Uh, I failed it? Interesting. I failed. Usually it's like, hey, you, you pass it, but you don't, um, you don't get, like, the bonus AP. <clears throat> Although I guess considering I didn't, um, considering I didn't get that, that one thing. Because, yeah, like, there's things I could do about that to, like, try and be better about that. Like, if I used Angel, it would kind of suck. It, it would kind of suck considering that I would get, have to get rid of Oberon. But, uh, Angel is the thing that, or I guess it's called Sophia in this one. It's, uh, it's Elisa's, where you automatically recover from a KO with 100% uh, of your HP and 200% of your uh, CP. So, that's really good. Th that would be a really good way to, like, get back into the fight. But, uh, this is, uh, we are playing this on, on hard mode, right? So, like, <laughs> if it wasn't for that, we probably could have done... We, we could have done that fight w w like that. We probably could have uh, managed that fight, but, oh well. It is what it is. Really, it's just way too strong for us. Way too strong for me to fight 1v1. Which, uh, very lore accurate. She is dastardly. Quite dastardly. I don't, uh, I really don't think that Reen could, in canon, beat Aurelia. <laughs> without, like, going berserk with it. <sighs> the members of Class 7, new and old, really something else. Oh, well, in any case, I also have some reservations about how Carbide is being treated. I don't mention the Intelligent Division's actions are concerning as well. What makes you say that? Do you know something? I don't, that's why I'm concerned. I don't know how to say this, but I have the feeling they're hiding something unsavory. At any rate, if you're leaving, be careful. Make sure you were ready to support you when the time comes. Thank you, Major Irving. And off we go. Also, yeah, I do need to do the punishment wheel spins, but, oh man. I'm kind of under the weather at the moment, right? So, uh, I might, I might hold off a little bit. How you doing? Apple, sour apple, sinistar, glad to see ya. Thanks for stopping on by with a hydrate as well. Alright. Nah. Water. Water in the sky. Why? <laughs> I don't know what's waiting in store for all of you, but whatever it is, please be careful. 
And don't worry, the Class 7 I know will be okay, no matter what. Yuna, Kurt, Yusei, Reen, they're strong. You're all so strong. If nothing else, I believe in that strength. Instructor Tilwa, thank you for the words of encouragement. I'm feeling braver already. Agreed. This is Class 7. Let's leave it all on the battlefield. Or this is it, Class 7. Meh, meh, meh. But yeah, how you doing today? I'm full glad to see things for stopping on my... We're just starting stream. We uh, we fought Aurelia, and she is very difficult to beat in in hard mode. Like if I if I had a uh, a particular type of setup, right? If I um if I rearranged my entire setup to be like glass cannon, but also like revivable glass cannon, we probably could win that fight. But oh man, I really just don't feel like resetting like all my stats for that. <laughs> Also, I don't necessarily mind bowing fealty to, uh, to Aurelia. Like, hey, yo, hey, yo, lady, how you doing? That whole speech seemed pretty fishy. Not sure what's happening anymore. Everything changed so much overnight. I read what the Imperial Chronicles said, but I can't accept that Ash was a Calvardian spy. On top of that, there's that what we know about the incident itself. According to Yuna, it seemed like he was being controlled by something. Demon eyes! It's raining pretty hard here. Didn't get home until about 3.30 this morning. That's about whenever I finally was able to go to bed. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was... I, I, it was it was bad. Last night, I could not sleep for the life of me. It was like... 3.30 to 4. It was somewhere around there that I was... I, I like... I tried to go to bed again and like eventually did like taper off to sleep. I think it was closer to 4, but... Yeah. I don't know. Last night was... was it was, it was, it was a night. <laughs> We always get one of those nights, right? But Ash was scary at first, and it took me a while to get used to him, but I was misjudging him. He's actually very hardworking, and he just hates losing. He's smart, too. He loves reading and picks up on the subtleties of the novels. He even recommended a really good book to me. Deep down, he's actually very kind, so I can't. Mm, it'll be alright, Tatiana. I understand how you feel. I feel the same way about Ash. But we're still not sure what we can do to help him just yet. We'll continue to gather whatever, whatever information we can. So please be ready, you two. Thank you, everyone. Understood. Please stay safe. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering, is Tatiana over here harboring feelings for, uh, for Mr. Bad Boy Ash Carbide? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, man. We had some, uh, s some, some weird buffering there. Some, some weird little buffery. Hopefully it was fine. Ho hopefully it was fine. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I looked over there and, and uh, I, I saw the, the zero kilobyte thing, which was like, oh no, kilobyte? Yeah, kilobyte. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with, with like, it. I noticed that a couple of my friends have been having the same issues as well. Like, it's just bit rates being very weird lately. I don't know why. I know Ryder had uh, a really bad bit rate the other day, but his was because of Streamlabs update. I don't, uh, I don't think I have an update. Maybe I did. Ah. The National Mobilization Law, huh? To think Ash is being manipulated just for that. Really pisses me off. In any case, we still need more information. So we'd get a hold of Tiu Tot for a moment yesterday, but... Tiu, she's still here. We didn't get to talk much, but yeah, she should still be in the city. We just get in touch with her, I'm sure she'd help, but... Either way, I'm sh make sure I'm ready to move out on my end, at least. We're gonna fight this out to the end. Randy, it's understood. Man, like, I, I keep noticing, like, every now and again, it's, it's not very often, but every now and again, it just goes, like, a real sharp drop, and then it comes back. Hopefully, uh, it's not too big of, a, of an issue on your guys' side, though. Mm, 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 mm. Debating which trip to do tomorrow, both choices are sequels of sorts. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Well, hopefully, whichever one you pick is a good time. Mm. What I should did the Emperor? That was all just a bad dream, right? Did I eat some hallucinogenic mushrooms or something? I should keep an eye on my condition. By the way, I'll choose to trust in him. A comrade and friend. Those who eat together and stick together. Just have to welcome him back with the best grub I've got to offer. Freddy, you never change, do you? You're right about that, at least. Grub, huh? Can't help but wonder how literal that'll end up being. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I like, uh, as much as I like Freddy, he is very, very much a weirdo. Very, very much a weirdo. Dude eating bugs. I mean, survival of the fittest, and Freddy would definitely be the fittest in that situation, but I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't necessarily have an I have any desire to eat bugs. So first room has been fine for me. Furiously knocks on wood. Furiously. But well, yeah, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. So long as uh, it's been fine on, on Doom's side, because Doom usually has the most issues with stream. So if it's been fine on his end, then yeah, yeah, yeah that that that, that uh, 
leads to leads me to believe that it'll be that it's not at least cutting out at any weird time. <sighs> Damn it! What in the world is going on? Seriously, I don't get it at all. That whole speech and why would Ash do something like that? Everything they said is true. Ash is the biggest fool in the Empire. But is everything they said true? It's got to be some kind of mistake, right, Kurt? They never do something like that, right? Right. I know he wouldn't. All I can do now is ask that you keep believing in him. We'll figure out the truth no matter what it takes. Okay then, if you say so. It's reassuring to hear that. Thanks, Kurt. Damn it, Ash. Still owe you so much. You better not bail out on me now. I feel the same way. But I'm glad I still owe him. Like Kurt said, all we can do now is continue to believe in Ash. Thank you. I promise we'll do whatever we can. Guys. So even Wayne ended up accepting Ash in the end. You're really blessed to have so many good friends, Ash. <laughs> hey, look who's talking, Reen. You're freaking the main character. You know how many people, uh, <laughs> care about you? Jesus. But also, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe the, the thing about, like, um, with, with the bitrate, like, dropping a little bit, is because I have my bitrate set up way higher. I did set my bitrate to be higher so that hopefully the quality would increase a little bit. And, uh, that might be, like, it's, it's dipping lower more often, but it's staying within, like, reasonable realms, considering it's it, it, I have it set up so high. So, like, it's, we're dropping frames, quote-unquote, but, like, real, in reality, we're, we're not really dropping anything. That'd be fine. That'd be cool. That, yeah, I mean, if that's the case, then. Hell yeah. Anyways, what did Apple say? I saw a big old paragraph. Uh, one of them has me driving a pleasant group I drive yesterday to a baseball game, and the other will be bringing the people I'm driving today to Casino Night Zone. I tried Scorpion once, kinda naughty. Might go well crushed up in cookies. Oh, so, you mean, like, Scorpion's actually very naughty. Also, like, those are completely different sentences, but, uh, <laughs> I, I got you. I really do not want to try... I, I don't know, like, Spider and, and Scorpion is weird. I, like, I'm like, no way, I don't want to try that. But then I think about it, I'm like, that's basically just crab and lobster. But, like, not seafood version. <laughs> so, huh. I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe it could be. Like, if I didn't realize what it was, and I ate it, then... I probably would, you know, if it was good, then I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's pretty alright. Then you tell me what it is, and I'd be like, oh, well, I guess I like that then. I don't know, I'm that type of person, like, I know my mom is, like, the exact opposite. I, she really liked, um, pig's feet whenever she was younger. And then she learned that it was actually pig's feet that she was eating, and she's never touched it since. <laughs> I was like, but you liked it? Yeah, but it's disgusting to think about. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Like, I'm the exact opposite about that. If, like, I don't want to try certain things, because, like, that sounds disgusting. But I, like, if I do try it, and it tastes good, then I mean, hey, it tastes good. <laughs> like, I don't really care. But oh well, oh well. Um, but yeah, whichever one of those uh, trips you take, Apple, both sound quite interesting. A baseball game and a casino night zone. Mm. I, lo I love that uh, you're, you're living the, uh, the, the Sonic lifestyle, right? You're always taking them to the Sonic uh, night zone, which, <laughs> so appropriate. By the way, Class 7's heading out for more Special Ops missions. Pretty bold move, considering the camp's on lockdown. Are you sure this is okay? We're past the point where we can afford to worry about things like that. Right now, our only option left is to take action. Hearing you say things like that always gets me all tingly. Also, I heard you guys can't get a hold of Alley either. Even though we're still in the middle field exercises. What do these punks in the intelligence division think they are, stealing her away like that? Yeah, seriously. We like to be able to help, but for now all we can do is just sit and watch. I hate having to wait. Please do everything you can in our place. Understood. We'll return with news as soon as we can. Uh, everyone in the, uh... Everyone in here is so likable. Like, all of the, uh... All of the characters. I see, yeah, I need to... Oh, that was so refreshing. So refreshing. Yeah, I should probably take another shower, considering Aurelia completely rinsed me of all of oh, everything. This is not... Every time I see you live on YouTube, I always feel happy and grateful to subscribe to your channel. Aww. That's... Aw, oh, that, that's... That's wholesome. Welcome on in, Arkham Kratos. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. I'm always very, uh, very happy whenever I see you pop on in the chat. Always a good time. Love seeing, uh, seeing the, the regulars, you know. <laughs> Love seeing new faces and regulars all the same. But, uh, yeah, like, the more you see somebody, like, the more, uh, the more you come to appreciate them, right? If somebody subs by your stream once, it's just like, oh, hey, that's cool, thank you. But then, like, somebody subs by your stream, like, Multiple times it's like, oh, hey, hey, reoccurring face. Nice. We got ourselves a new homie. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome on. I'm glad to see. Thanks for stopping on by. Hopefully your day's been going oh well. I am a little under the weather today, but it's springtime. What, what, what do you want? <laughs> what, what, what can you do about that? It's springtime. Things are blooming, so pollen's getting in your lungs, and 
allergies are acting up, and yeah, well, what can you do? <laughs> Take some uh, some medicine and, and hope for the best. I still can't believe Ash was from Hommel. If we'd known earlier, we could have done something. Tita, that has to be a reason something happened. Yeah, we need to find that out first. Everything begins there. Yeah, so which is why we all need to work together. You're right. We need to keep going. I didn't even need to say anything. Everyone's really grown up. <laughs> Brings a tear to your eye, I swear. By the way, Tita, were you able to get a hold of Agate? Yes, yeah, so we updated each other on things. Should be in the city right now. Seemed really worried, but I told him it, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can definitely imagine how your conversation went. Uh, I'm gonna check if we can use the communication devices here in camp. Also, I should be able to adjust ornaments. So, uh, please let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Be very helpful. Just thought I'd expect from you, Tita. Hmm. Main character of the first Legend of Heroes games. Ah, crazy. Amazing. Uh, do you know Kuni games before? Have I, have I ever played them? Have I streamed them? I, I've never streamed them, but I... Uh... I think I... Yeah. I, I, def, I think I watched it, actually. I don't think about it. I think I watched somebody, like, back in the day. I think I watched somebody play through the, the Nino Kuni games. Very adorable. Studio Ghibli, uh, like, animation style they got going on. Very, very adorable games. <laughs> what was the... Uh... Oh, 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 Oliver. Oliver! And, uh... What was this, like... Nito, that's what it was. He would always, every time that something happened, he was like, Nito! That was a very cute game. I, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy, like, watching it. It had that weird, like, like ATB style of, of fighting, though, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I don't know how much I would enjoy actually playing the game, but I had a really good story. The second game was a bit weird, though. The second Nino Kuni game, I did enjoy the fact that one of the characters, spoiler alert, I guess, was literally the president of the United States, and uh, <laughs> he, his superpower was that he had a gun. Like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, do you prefer this or the Dragon Quest games for the whole week? For the whole week? I mean, I definitely prefer uh, The Legend of Heroes to Dragon Quest. I love Dragon Quest. I grew up with Dragon Quest. But, uh, like, the, the continuity of The Legend of Heroes games is just so nice. Absolutely love like, how, how these games all build off of each other. Like, like I just said, like, Tita back there was the, uh, one of the main characters of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky trilogy. And now she is a, like, a backup secondary character in the, uh, the Quadol Quad Quadology? Is that what it's called? The, the four-game series? <laughs> um, of Legend of Heroes, the Erebonia the Quadology. I'm just gonna go with that. But, uh, yeah, it's very interesting how, like, all things, like, build off of each other. It really makes the world feel so alive. Where I do love Dragon Quest, those games are, you know, like, one and done, right? Like, you play one of those games, and then, like, that's the entire period. Ah, excuse me. That's the entire period, the entire, um, world, and, like, they're more like Final Fantasy, right? Dragon Quest is more like Final Fantasy. Man, I can't believe this! Yes, how did it come to this? Something's not right. I mean, I've seen Ash in Deep Thought before, but... I didn't get the impression it had to do it with Hommel. Is there something I could have done for him? Hey, stop. Don't beat yourself up like that. I understand how you're feeling. I... No point in getting caught up in regret, though. We need to stay positive. Besides, I trust Ash. There must be some kind of reason behind this. Yes, we believe that's the case. Alright, there's too many strange things going on right now to just trust what we're told. So if Class 7's going to act, we need to back them up. Hi, leave any weapons to us. Lock down me ours. <laughs> that's the spirit. We still need to work in secret, though. Need to power Valimar up? Just let me know. We will. Thanks, both of you. Leave the rest to us. We'll get to the bottom of this. It's actually a good, uh... What should I enhance? That is a good point. Do we have, uh, Power Orb 3? We do. We do have one of these, so I can upgrade the Divine Knight's strength even further. Uh, be careful! Be careful! So yeah, Power Orb, change that to level 3. So we've got HP, Power, and Shields, all level 3. So our Divine Knights are as maxed out as they can be. Like, I do love that as well. Like, th there's so much, like, thought process in, like, all the characters. Because you have your equipment, right? You have your typical, your weapon, your your armor, and then, like, boots. Like, yeah, alright. Like, sometimes it's just, like, one armor thing. Sometimes you have two armor things. But, um, yeah, this is pretty typical. You have two accessory slots. Very, very usual. And then we have all of these quartz, right? Which, this is pretty uh, expansive. This is pretty expansive and pretty exclusive to this game. It's, it's kind of similar to Final Fantasy with the Materia, but uh, I, 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 it's, uh, <laughs> this is a little bit more in-depth 
Not, not in this game so much, but like in the older games, it definitely was a lot more in-depth, considering depending on what you had in each of the lines would give you different powers, and it was a whole deal. But in this one, it got a little bit simpler. It's closer to the materia in like Final Fantasy now. But uh, then you have, on top of that, the, uh, the the Divine Knights have their own special things with those the, those giant power cords that we have. Like this game has so many little things to like build off of to like make yourself stronger and it's crazy. It's crazy how much detail they have in this. Yuna, you're going with Instructor Rain, aren't you? Yes, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I'm sure the rest of you feel the same way, but we know this is your role. But if you're in a pinch, we'll all come run to help. The camp may be under lockdown, but you can count on us, same as ever. Go and do what you need to, Yuna. We'll be here for you. Jessica, Louise, thank you. Ah, oh, Yuna's got some real friends there. I'm still sad though that Jessica, that blue-haired one, she was supposed to be a uh, a main character. She was supposed to be part of Class Seven, like early in development. They they expected her to be part of Class Seven, but then they they nerfed her, put her back down into just the uh, combat tactics, and so, well, <laughs> sucks, sucks to suck, sucks to suck. I confirmed the situation over our call earlier. It would appear those on the front lines and those working behind the scenes are collaborating. The situation seems to be headed towards a grievous outcome. Yes, and what's about to happen is completely unprecedented. Either way, we can't stand by and let war break out again. We're gonna change this outcome. Valmar, I'll... <laughs> Worry not, Reen. I shall always be by your side. If you call for me, I will fly to the furthest ends of the world. Thanks, Valmar. Yuna, Kurt, you say? Ask that you please support Reen. Well, of course we will. Yes, indeed. It is strange yet pleasant to hear you call us by our names, Valimar. Now, usually he's just like the uh, the, the subcontractors. Ah, uh, something, something like that. There's some some wind going on outside. It getting it kind of windy outside. That might be part of the reason why I've had some weird little uh, fluctuation, though. <laughs> Are you two probing the supplies? Surprised the Imperial Defense Force hasn't tried to stop you. Well, they did give us a warning, but. Then let's go after we told them we were just cleaning things up. So, if you need something, just pretend you're storing some luggage. You certainly are a crafty one, Stark. Thanks, we appreciate the help. I'm worried about the Emperor too, of course, but I can't stop thinking about what happened with Ash. Like, maybe someone drugged him or something? And to think that there were some strange cases of drugs in Crossville a couple years ago. Nah, yeah, gnosis. Either way, we'll have to make sure the government doesn't slack off on their investigation. I'm sure if they look into things, they'll go easy on Ash. But you really believe him, don't you? Yes, of course. He's one of our irreplaceable friends, after all. Irreplaceable friend? Do you hear that, Ash? No, I don't think Ash does hear that. He is very, uh... Just tell me what you need. Very far away, and maybe not even conscious Take at the care. moment. Just tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need. Oh, extra issue. Extra, extra, read all about it. Take care. Alright, we got that one. And Becky and Sandy, and then I think we're done. Guess you're all heading out. Yeah, I just can't sit here and let this play out. Need to take care of Ash, too. Might upset the f uh, faculty a little, but... Nah, go for it. Now's the time to act. No doubt the government's been playing the long game with this. This will be our only chance to figure out what's going on. I gotta hit up some people I know. Got any info I can. I'll get in touch if I come across anything worthwhile. I'm talking about Hugo. Good idea. We can get some good intel from him. I got it. Thank you, but do be careful. No worries. They cannot keep contracting employees like us on lockdown. There are lots of other ones that need to be careful, though. Ah, uh, Becky, you're so hard to voice act because I have to actually put on an accent. I say I have to, but it's, I, I just do it. I, I just do it because it's fun. But I, 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 keeping that accent going whenever I'm not exactly in top condition is like, oh man. Sandy, are you preparing for lunch? Yes, it's so really early, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I understand. But now there's nothing else I can do. Maybe I think of more recipes while preparing food. That being said, I can't really think of anything now. Sandy, so maybe we can share a recipe book? Good idea. I don't know if this will help, but... I'd like to take a look at a recipe book. It's maxed out. This is the holy grail of recipe books. So many recipes from different restaurants and modifications from old and new class 7. The recipe book is the best thing I've ever seen. Thank you so much. This is really helpful. I'm happy to hear that. Alright, I'm going to think of a new recipe. Yeah, <laughs> Looks like the Sandy of old is back. Guess I wasn't acting like my usual self. Still some confusion, but even in the worst of times, humans still need to eat. There's no point in feeling down forever. You're strong, Sandy. I don't think so. But before I forget, here's a little thank you gift. Please take this. Vulcan gem. Ooh. You sure we have something this impressive? It's actually sent to me by Prince Oliver. So he left a note saying, Use this to help the branch campus. He had it sent to me because we're from the same town. Could it be better used in your hands? I see. You say so, Sandy. Thank you. You're welcome. Nah. 
Yes, yeah, so that one is special because we, uh, uh, we, we, we had that thing. We had the, uh, <coughs> the, the notebook filled out. Because there's always one of those things. We have, like, the monster notebook filled out, having the book notebook filled out, having the, um, the, the uh, like, like, the character notes, the, all of those things, right? And so there's one character that we can give, like, all that information to. And so Sandy was the one for the cooking one. Way too many things have happened since last night, and I'm still confused, but even the first time you see me D Okay. You, yeah, yeah, you, uh, we, we, we've already went through that. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. Enjoy your cooking or, or whatever. I'm going to assume that I probably just can't leave through the front door, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, uh, I do want to check out, see if, uh... Anything else is missable all right now. What's up, 9 Volt? How you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I'm a little uh, under the weather today. I don't know. Last night was rough on me. I uh, did not get a lot of sleep, and the, uh, the the springtime allergies are in full force. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. But, hey, you know, we out here streaming, having ourselves a good time regardless. Stream really is just uh, so uh, like like addicting, right? Like even if you're not feeling 100%, it's still like so much fun to just get into and do because ah, such a fun time, such a fun time. Okay, so you complete the recipe notes and give to Sandy. Uh, okay, we need to talk to Tatiana, Valerie, and Luis for other things. I don't know if we can. We can't. Okay, we definitely can't do that right now. I, you know, I guess we do need to go this way then. I guess we can teleport back here at some point in time, because we have um, some things that we need to get, but before we can go back here. Here, this is a blind spot from the entrance, and this will do to expand the teleportation circle. Are you ready? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Let's do this. There's things I need to get before we uh, can finish other things. Whoa, this is teleportation magic. All right, here we go. Anime powers activate. <coughs> nah. mm -mm -mm. Do you think Kotsu Three is better than Daybreak? I mean, I've got, I got no idea. I've not played Trust for Daybreak yet because it hasn't came out yet in the West. <laughs> but uh, I hope Daybreak's better. I hope so because oh, I really, uh, I really am excited for that game. Also, do you uh, know the first The Legend of Heroes was December tenth of nineteen eighty nine? Yeah, I did know that. I forget what the thing is called, but, like, there was that PC, like, 89 or whatever. The, a very long time ago, there was uh, Legend of Heroes games. So, yeah, th that was the, the, like, original series. But the, um, the they, they, like, th those games, those old games that they had way back then are games that aren't in canon anymore. Like, it's start, like th those games are their own games, right? They're, they're individual standalones. Whereas the... Legend of Heroes, Trails, the the um, the Kaseki games. Those are the ones where uh, it's all in, it's like building off of each other and, and it, its own canon, its own universe. And so uh, uh, that's why I generally don't reference those old games because you know they're very hard to play because they're only on like a very obsolete console <laughs> that I like. Very few people even heard about and. Uh, like, when, in this series here, like, they don't really reference that stuff. Maybe, like, a little bit, like, an Easter egg here or there, but, um, very little. Very, very little. It's like how the Tales of games go, where it's like, oh, yeah, there's a thing here that references a, an older game, but that's about it. Not really any interconnecting webs. So, yeah, the, the liberal games, the Trails in the Sky ones, those are the ones that, like, started off this whole series of events. And these ones are all building off of each other. But, yes, but, yes. Wait, is this... This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. In my cemetery, we were transported all the way here in an instant. Green. There's no music, and then that was a you very, guys. a very loud. It's everyone from the old class seven. Hi. That is, that I'm is. I'm glad you made it out. Good work, Celine. Yeah, yeah. It was nothing. Another day for a familiar. Oh, so you all came with him. That's right. We may slow you down a little, however. Shut up, Kurt. You're Not one of my best characters. It will be a relief to have you with us. All this concerns you guys just as much as it does us. I can't remember. William isn't with you after all. 
Yes, she rushed off this morning, and I haven't been able to contact her since. <sighs> what in the world could she be doing at a time like this? When she called you, it seemed like she was worried about Ali, right? Yeah, something's definitely going on. We'll just have to leave it to Milliam for now. Yes. Yes. I'm worried. But I'm sure she'll be fine. <sighs> like we said over the phone, there are some people we need to introduce you to. We'll be meeting them at the Heimdall Cathedral. Oh, the cathedral? We're going to the city. We won't need to change out of our uniforms? That's right. We'll be spotted in an instant if we walk around and they're wearing these. Nah. What if we use the underground passage? That will get us to the race course. Unfortunately, we can't go that way. I'm Dal Military Police. are all over those tunnels investigating. It's where all the spies are hiding out, so we probably don't want to get caught there. With this many people, we're going to stick out no matter where we go. No, oh, it'll be okay. Let's just head straight to the southern gate. I have a checkpoint set up there, but we'll be able to get through. That's right. I'll be able to help, too. Oh, are you planning to use one of your spells to get us through, Emma? I don't understand, but you two guys? Is he... Alright, we'll leave that to you two. Let's all head to the southern gate. Roger. Class 7, let's move out. Yes. Glad that's finally decided. Got some orbital bikes ready for us. In addition, I brought some horses, should we need them. Whether you prefer horses or the, uh, the, the steel horse. Alright. Yeah, we got a kitty cat over there. Uh, looks like we have an event over here as well. At Crow's Grave. Or, you know. Quote unquote crow's grave. Sarah over there by herself, new class member over there by themselves, and the rest of us in the middle. Been a while since we were all gathered here, but never thought we'd meet here again like this. Can't even fathom what's going on. There's no way he's simply acting. <coughs> ah, God. He wouldn't joke about something like that. If anything, it seems like he's lost his memories. Perhaps it's not that he doesn't remember. We may need to consider the possibility he's being controlled somehow. I'm not so sure that's possible. There's no doubt we were able, we were there for his final moments. You guys, I can only imagine how they must feel. Yeah, dead friend back alive and doesn't remember anything. That's uh, ay ay ay, ay ay ay. We still don't know anything for certain. But if he's not here, then there's only one thing we can do: find him and uncover the truth together as class seven. Yep, we don't know, then we just need to find out. We'll rip that mask off his face next time we see him. Before we can do that, we should deal with whatever's happening to the city now. I'm sure, once we do that, the way to him will open up. I agree. There's no doubt he has some affiliation with the gnomes. Glad to see our goals lining up so nicely and neatly. I'll go with you guys. After all, I am Class 7's former instructor. Damn right. A resolve like this is just what I'd expect from our instructor and his classmates. Can't let them show us up, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, we need to do the same. For Ash! Let's get moving, instructor. We've got one more special ops mission to take care of. You're right. Everyone, lend me your strength. I was thinking about that. I don't actually know if we're going to get uh, Ash and Altina back in our party. I think they might be out for the game. I think we might uh, it might might be done with them. They, they might not uh, be playable anymore. We, we might have reached the, the end of their like story, as it were. For this game, at least. I don't know. Uh, d d I love Code Steel games because they have voice action with the 3D Pokemon games is lacking. Oh, the voice acting? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh, the sky is making me uneasy. Damn, at least I'm not that it's scary. Just it's foreshadowing the worst of what's to come. It's just a little stormy. The spirit veins are a mess too. Okay, now that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> but yeah, the voice acting, it's so weird. Like, this game could get away with not having voice acting considering... Like, there's not auto-scrolling dialogue most of the time. So it could get away with it. But, uh, like in Pokemon in particular, that game felt so empty. Considering there was, auto like, most of the dialogue was auto-scrolling in, like, the cutscenes, right? It just felt so empty. The auto-scrolling dialogue, literally, like, nothing was being said ever. It was like, I don't like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a quest monster over there. See, something that's that is missable. But I do need to resituate my team, because Yeah, now we've got everybody here. Uh who do I want to have equipped? Okay, so I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna put Sarah in. I'm gonna put Emma. Um throwing Machis and uses in the back, because they're not really all that great. Like that. 
Oh, throw in Elisa all the way in the back because no thank you. No thank you. And then, yeah, you, uh, move everybody up a little bit more. So, yeah, we got Sarah, we got Emma, and then, like, you say, throw, like, right there. Okay, yeah, cool. I think this would be round about my, like, favorite, like, group of, of people in this game. This is, like, my fav like, my tier list, right? Welcome to my tier list. We we've got, uh... All, all of my characters in Legend of Heroes, Treasure Code Steel 3, mine, minus like Altina, Ash, Crow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, like Reen, main character, very hard to swap him out because that's your main character, right? He, I, I'm one of those people that I never swap out the main character in games. So, like, Tales of Symphonia, whenever I played through, I always kept Lloyd in my party. Regardless, it just feels correct, right? Like, I'll swap them out if I have to, like, in a fight, sure, that's fine. But not having the character that you run around as in your party, it's just still weird. You should probably do that at some point in time. Play a game like this, a JRPG, but where I don't have the uh, the main character in the game at all. <laughs> well, I guess that's kind of how I played um, Genshin way back whenever I played Gen that. It was only until like it was only like late game, because all of Traveler's things were very easy to get that I, I max leveled him. But, uh, early game was like, nah, <laughs> get out of here, don't want you. But yeah, so like, Laura, she's extremely strong, also just love her, absolutely precious, hard shit between Reen and, and, and Laura. I feel like those two just go so well together. Kurt's an amazing dodge tank in this one. Fee's a better dodge tank, but I would need to set her up, like I have Kurt set up. And I don't know if she's gonna stay in our party. Gaius, he is everything. <laughs> The worst thing that he's got is, is magic. It's not even bad. His magic is like average. But um, he's got that. He's got good range for that sphere. He's got high evasion rate. He's got uh, guaranteed insight due to his master cords. He's the, like the second strongest person in class seven. I think he only is uh, under Laura. Laura's the strongest. And I think Gaius is the second strongest. Uh, Gaius is faster though. He's got more agility. He's, he's just overall a much a much better character. V is a lot more dexterous. Not as strong, but she's got a lot more dexterity to her, so she's a really good dodge tank. Um, Sarah, also very, uh, a, a fairly decent dodge tank. She's got inside that she can power up, and very strong as well. Emma, amazing with her, uh, with her magic. She is the strongest, uh, ATS damage dealer. So if you're trying to do some magic, if you get, like, a, uh, a zero art ever swap Emma in and use one of her big attacks. It's just uh, it's it's too good. It's too good. Elliot's a really good healer. Yuna's average across the board. She doesn't really excel in anything. The best thing about her is her break damage, I guess. Musei is kind of the same. She's she's higher in the magic department. She's very similar to Elisa in, in that regards, where she's like higher in the magic department. That's okay physical damage. But really nothing else is that uh, great about her. Though Musei does have a bit more healing than uh, Lisa, so I do rank her a little bit higher. Machius and Yusis, they're the same, the same level. Machius is just a tank. He doesn't have good damage, doesn't really have good magic, doesn't really have anything good at all. <laughs> His best stat is defense. He is there to get hit. That is it. It's so, like, I'd much rather a dodge tank to a, a regular tank. Because, I mean... Dodge tank gives you counters, and then those can get critical, and oh, it's so much better. Dodge tanks are way better than just regular tanks, so Machias' build is not my favorite. Yusis, he's, he's he's very similar to Reen. Like, honestly, they're very similar, but Yusis is a little bit more uh, magic-focused. He's got higher magic than Reen does, but a weaker physical than, than Reen does. Also, he doesn't have anything special second form like, like Reen does with his ogre form, so... He kind of just, yeah, he's just all like a lesser ring. Bit better with the magic, but that's about it. That's about the only thing that's good for him. And yeah, Lisa, like, the best thing about her is her Master Forwards that allows her to revive once a battle. But <laughs> dying in general is not exactly a goal, so <laughs> I'm not exactly, not exactly something that I'm trying to, to deal with. She, she's just like a safety one. She, she's like a safety net, but overall, I, I, don't, really, I don't really like her that much. Just not a huge fan of yeah, these these ones right here. These uh, these seven. Hell yeah. Uh, Altina and Ash though. I'd probably put like right in this game. I probably would replace 
lore with Ash, considering I've been building up Ash, whereas Laura has been like by herself for most of the time. But in general, I think uh, Ash would probably go like around here. He'd probably go around in like this this ballpark, considering he's got really good damage, really good range. Doesn't have any good e evasion whatsoever. He doesn't do like naturally. I don't think he does as much damage as uh, as Laura. So like Laura can do more damage if you build her up to doing DPS. But uh, he's still quite strong. But he doesn't have the evasion rate that like all these characters have. They're, like Hurt and guys are just really good with the evasion and then doing a bunch of damage on top of that. Whereas Sarah and Fee are really good at evasion but don't do as much damage. So like Ash is like somewhere around in, in this ballpark. I like him, but not that much. And Altina, I'd probably put her... Uh, Altina and Milliam, because they're basically the same character. I'd put them, uh, like, probably around... Probably around here, yeah. Because, like, Emma does so much good magic damage. Altina and Milliam, they have decent physical, decent magic, decent defense. They're, they're all, overall very decent. They're very similar to Yuna. So, like, yeah, it just depends. Like... Altina does have some healing, not great healing, so uh, yeah, I'd probably put her, I'd probably put Milliam and Altina, like, between Elliot and Yuna here. They're very similar to Yuna. But a little bit better than Yuna, in my opinion. By the way, there's my tier list. <laughs> there's my tier list of all the characters that uh, I, I enjoy in this game. Uh, but either way, uh, save our game may as well. I'm, ass I'm assuming we can probably teleport back there at some way, somehow, considering it's telling me to go to the Bracer Guild to talk to somebody, and also to the racetrack to talk to somebody, but, uh, I don't know, uh, how to talk to them and then also go back to that one thing, so, mm, we'll see. Also, kind of interesting how these enemies don't run away from me, right? Like, generally speaking, a powerful foe. Ready yourselves. generally speaking, what is that thing hanging on? Are they, okay, they're not following me anymore. This dude just, like, hanging in midair. <laughs> what the hell? That is a very creepy looking spider, though. But yeah, we got a, a monster extermination quest to do here, a so. Foe. There. Let's May as well. So annoying, I can't do that. Is that a lady head? Oh, that's a lady head. We got Quaylag? Hey, yo. No, seriously, though, like, lustful arachne. I mean, how you doing, girl? Like, if, if it wasn't for. Like, the top half's pretty solid, bottom half, uh, kind of creepy. But. <laughs> That top half, though, spider lady. What's up, citrus? How you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in. Yeah, we, we're playing some Legend of Heroes today. We're in the final chapter, but uh, before we get into, like, the, 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 the heavy, dirty story, we got a bunch of missable stuff to do, so we out here trying to do some of that. I just went through and, like, did a tier list of all, all the characters in here. <laughs> did a tier list of all of the, the characters that I have in my party. Although, I just got a bunch of them, so they're probably not set up as well as they should be. I'm sure it's fine, though. I'm sure it's fine. I don't like that she's lustful. She should live a pious life. True. True. Is, is she She might be a, a demon, a cryptid from... Yeah, a monster born from space-time distortion. She might have the power to enter the minds, and victims fall into endless nightmares. You know, that, that might be, like, her whole, whole, her whole deal. But she should try and live a, a better life. Live, live a life with, with Adios, the goddess of this world. <laughs> so you do she's way too close to an actual spider but I mean the face is justice and like I can't really see her face but I'm sure she's beautiful I'm sure she's beautiful <laughs> anyway uh yeah I'm not sure how we're gonna be doing this what do I got in my delay oh I do got break damage that has 4 BP though I don't really want to spend that much ah right, yeah raging fire we'll go with Let's that go. More damage! Never could have too much damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, alright. Let's see what we got. What, what do you got with this? Crescent Flash? How much damage can I actually do to you? An opening. Not too bad. Scream of Madness! Oh, well, that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Very well. We got Laura and Geyser are both confused. Hurts my dodge tank, but I mean... Not even he can uh, dodge 100% yet. Don't have him build up all the way. I can always do this later if I need to. What level are you, actually? 54. That's... This... <laughs> game, please. In, um... Well, like, two or three streams ago, we, we had to fight a giant dragon. 
and like the the, the low the highest level enemy before that boss fight was like level 51 then that giant dragon boss that we had was level 55 <laughs> and now like two streams later we're getting back into these fights and these enemies are level 54 hard mode why are you so hard um all right let's hope that freaking guys doesn't kill all right cool doesn't kill anybody Recuria, and Phoenix. we'll see what happens. That that confused was not ideal. Evil Eye of the Dead Sleep. It's That's fine. Turn. Green's uh, he's got Oberon on, which means we do not have to worry about anything. Also, I love long hair. I, I I gotta admit, like the uh, like the very, like creepy like Japanese horror long hair. It's very nice. I I like it. <laughs> I know like it's supposed to be like a stereotypically like terrifying thing. But, like, I don't know. I, I, I like it. It reminds me of, like, old scene hair. And I'm just like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I would hold her eight hands? Indeed. Indeed I would as well. Or at least I would hold things for her. Because uh, considering her hands are not very, uh, not, not very well developed for hand holding. I do not trust the, uh, the, the pink. I don't know why. I, I just do, I do not trust that. Alright, whatever. Either way, um, we actually got some turns now. Kurt does need to heal up, but he's also our dodge tank, so he might be fine. He might be fine with that. Should I do sphere unification? Nah, not yet. Not yet. 103,000 hit points, so yeah, not that bad. I think we've only done one hit and did 6,000. Roar! Yeah, 7,000, not bad. Ooh, I should have done the big attack. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention to what I had. This is only my, like, third fight of the stream, and... <laughs> I failed both the first two fights of the stream, considering... I I I, I I I. She is, uh, Aurelia. As, as, uh, amazing as she is, fighting her is, is quite difficult. Alright, yeah, let's go with it. Hopefully I can get a, a, a critical here. Ah, I did not. No critical for me. Okay, you got Nightmare, which is, that's not a, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, yeah. Mace Raging Fire again. Give ourselves some more that 20% boost to our attack. What are we doing though? I do want to re revive. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I should go with a with, with an item, right? Do I have Recuria or, or Curia? Do I just have Curia? Oh, I do have Curia. That's quite nice. I almost never have Curia, considering. Thank you. <laughs> why use Curia when you Very could have well. Recuria? Curia heals all stats on one. Recuria heals all stats on everyone. And so, like, come on, yeah. One of those is definitely better than the other. I really want to attack, but at the same time, I really need to heal. Uh, I'm confused. I am... Uh, I'm too bloodthirsty. That's what I am. Okay, we got the critical. One more. You can have the dead stick again. It's my turn. I, mean, I can do this again, I suppose. Curia, again. Bring Laura back. Thank you. Can you, uh, giant spider Let's lady, can you, can you start doing that on Reen again? Because, you know... Reen doesn't actually have to worry about those attacks. All right, keep willing away. So, like the thing about these fights that we always try to do is you try to break them first. So that blue bar that's underneath of the HP, the one with the shield, that means that it's a uh, it, it's their armor. Once you break that, it, this is also exclusive to this game. Maybe it's in Code Steel Four as well, but uh, I don't remember. It has been a few years since I played Code Steel Four, but uh, yeah. So you're trying to break that because then the enemies. Would take more damage, guaranteed criticals, and they don't have a, uh, uh, like, like, the next turn they have, it's just them recovering. So, it's always very good to, like, try and do the most break damage that you can. So, Rain Slash is the thing that does the most break damage for Kurt. Alright, cool. We may as well do the burst, considering burst does a lot of attacks, so it's a high go. chance of breaking, and also, it's, uh... It uses everybody so they get to build up their CP a little bit. Their craft points, their stamina. And so yeah, we got 60,000 now on board. Um, I can just do regular attack. You know, I, I really want to use like a big attack, but at the same time, I kind of want to like just, just do these weak attacks so that I can keep building up. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with regular attack for now. 3,000. And then gets a turn, so yeah, it's fine. Let's go! Let's go! Um, it doesn't look like he's going to get a turn, so Thunder Fang. Very strange how Geist does not have, he doesn't have an Esprit. 
Like, he's, Let's go. he's cooking with something. I don't know what he's cooking. It's been too long. I don't remember what he's Let's go. what he's doing, but... I'll handle this. Yeah. Uh, I could do a regular attack. Lion Rush. 43,000. That's relatively fine. This is like I, I, it, Now we're at the point where, like, I could definitely kill this boss by using all of our S-breaks. Which is basically like a Mystic Art from, like, the Tales of games. But, uh, the same hand... I kind of want to, like, not use up all of my energy, right? <laughs> I can't quite build that up too easily. I might be able to. I might be able to. Oh, whatever. Go with one of those. That still does 8,000. Still very good. And then a follow-up with a 2,000. Quite nice. 32,000. That's not bad. Um, Alright, you know what? Do Blade Dance boost up Kurt's strength. And then we'll follow very that up with the Tempest Edge. Which is the S rank damage. Biggest damage that I can do with him. Nice. There. It's there. My turn. And what do we got? 21,000 left. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and hope that this finishes off. I guess I can follow up. It, it, yeah, okay. So, yeah, one of those. Sure, sure, sure. Assist. This one, this one. So this guy's definitely dead. The, the lustful arachne is definitely dead. Hopefully that kills. It did. Nice. This. Beautiful. Is the blade of the eight leaves. Whenever Reen finishes off an enemy, he gets a bunch of uh, craft points back. So it's quite nice whenever he gets it. All right. I must Leveled up. All right. South Ostia Highway Monster Exterminated. But yeah, so like whenever Reen exterminates a monster, he gets like a, a, bo uh, a boost of... I don't even remember what the number is. What is it? What is it? Uh, 20 CP. He gets 20 craft points for every enemy that he kills. And he also got gets just a plus five every turn, so he I got a nice twenty-five boost there from using that attack. So using him is definitely the better of the ones. But other ones. When was that death animation? Should you just fade away? They kinda like explode. That's the thing. Whenever you kill an enemy, a monster, they just, just kinda like explode into uh, like magic. <laughs> so yeah. Um Alright, but yeah, optional stuff. Let's look through this. South Ostia Highway. We killed that one. That was a hidden quest. There was apparently one in the Heimdall Catacombs as well. And then that is the end of the missable things in this game. You can see, for now, we gotta just go over to... Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't go anywhere right now. Alright, it's fine. We're just going this way now. Um, yeah. Let's get going. Let's get back on the bikes. Get back on the bike. Nice thing about being on a mount, whether it's a, a steel horse or a regular horse, is the fact that monsters will not chase after you whenever you're on one of these things. So you don't got to worry about them coming around and messing with you. You can just walk on by without getting chased down by monsters. And I'm not really in the mood to fight right now. We just killed a giant monster, so I'd rather not. <clears throat> you kill them so hard they blow up magically. True. Truly. Also, what's up, Zek, and how you doing today? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Hi, he plays Genshin. We're just hanging from the... Yeah, that lady was just kind of hanging from space. Which, I mean, to be fair, she is a cryptid. She is just, a, like, a, a magical monster. So, I mean, I guess it checks out. But, yeah. <laughs> Not exactly, you know, 100%. Not exactly 100% well... Like, if she was hanging from a tree or something, that would have made sense. There was a tree next to her, but... Whatever. The sexy, magical spider lady can just do as she pleases, okay? Either way, Heimdall Military Police Checkpoint. Security is really high. Everyone came through here to get to the cemetery, right? Yes, we said we were going to visit a grave. But it wouldn't it seem suspicious if we went too? Don't sweat it, just act normal. Let's go. We got force powers, baby. Stop. Oh, I remember you from earlier. But what about them? Who are the others? Their outfits, as expected. Ugh, I should have changed their outfits. Oh well. Thank you for your service. By the way, I'd like you to take a look at this. What? Look at that. Silver gleam of knowledge and shining shiny jade, jade winds. winds. He's got green Let text. Let those powers be as a gale across the skies of their souls. That means it's magical. Uh. What? That's. And now Emma's turn. We are acting on orders for our mission. The students of the branch campus are accompanying us for this mission. There is nothing strange about us being here. 
I am a shadow. Please inform the other members of the military police to allow us to pass, should they see us. I can't help but see yellow eyes think about shadows now. Persona really does it to you. A mission. Nothing unusual about that at all. Eh. <laughs> Understood. You may pass through. I will notify the other patrol squads. Thank you. If you will excuse us. The uh, guy hasn't told us exactly what he's got there, but... If you if you know about this series well enough, that, that medallion... <laughs> You got a pretty good idea about what, uh, what Gaius is, is hiding from us. Well, that was easy. I don't even know what happened. Transportation spell was amazing, but the spell of hers was something else. But is it just me or is there something more to it? Mm, there sure is. If that information is shared, the hypnosis will spread to each re uh, recipient. Wouldn't that put all the military police under your spell? It's far more powerful than what you could do during the Civil War. It was Gaius' spell that made all that possible, right? Gaius' spell? He did something with that uh, metal-looking thing. Could it be? Well, in any case, let's head to the capital. Be able to clear everything up over there, right? Yeah, fortunately I'm not at liberty to explain. Uh, of course. Eventually he will. Ah, the tram came at the perfect time. Let's get on. Anime magical powers! Wait, like, all that stuff does make sense. It does check out. It's just... <laughs> you gotta wait for it. They they don't want to explain everything at it at, at as soon as it gets revealed, right? They like to let things simmer for a while. The yeah, guys is uh, I was saying that he doesn't really have that good magical like attack, but he's got some magical spells of his own that's pretty impressive. Or at least now he does. He's been through quite a lot between Cold Steel two and three. <laughs> ah, he's such a homie too. What I've heard, things have been pretty hectic here in the city. Yeah, ever since that speech, the mood's turned pretty dark. I heard my dad and the whole 4th Armored Division has been stationed here. Courageous has resumed its patrol flight starting this morning. In addition to my father, it seems Prince Oliver and Tovel have been summoned as well. My dad objected to the new bill, but I heard he was completely shut down. Sounds like they've already started bending the Imperial Chronicle to their whims. Isn't that... A blunt assessment, indeed. I was told they're reinstating the ban on the Bracer Guild, too. Hmm. The notification is the West and East branches will be reclosed. This has happened sooner or later, but didn't expect it to be this soon, though. Whole thing with His Majesty aside, seems like they saw everything coming from a stage away. Yeah, and they've gotten so far as to spend yesterday's incident to suit their needs. Blood and Iron Chancellor. Of course, my brother is lending his aid as well. Prince Cedric, too, most likely. Kurt, perhaps you should pay your home a visit. I saw Aurier at the training area this morning. She seemed quite worried about you. I see. However, I can't allow myself to leave during a time like this. I don't think this is exactly when you should go visit. Agreed. You should let them know you were able to make it into Heimdall. What about you, Instructor? You haven't gotten in touch with Elise yet, right? We're headed to Sancta anyways. Mates will go see her. Yeah, I think I'll do just that. Thinking... Elisa? What's wrong? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I'm just thinking back to when Sharon left the hotel this morning. She left? Was she meeting with Chairman Arena? No, I don't feel like that was it. The more I think about it, the more something feels off. Hmm. Ah, uh, I know what's happening because I have played this game before, but I, uh, <laughs> the tension is palpable. Sorry, I'm probably just overthinking things. It was a while ago, so she's probably back at the hotel now. She tells in the Sancta District too, right? Maybe we can check while we're there. The next stop is Heimdall Central Station. Please make sure you have all your belongings before exiting the tram. Thank you. Anyways, let's get moving. So we've got time before we're all meeting up, right? That's right. He told us we have time to finish our errands before we go. As long as we make it to the cathedral not much later than noon, we should be fine. Now let's check the situation at the capital first. Make our rounds and get acquainted with everyone. We should inform the others of our plan. Good idea. Should they be surprised to hear we've gone off without telling them? <coughs> Alright, now I can go around to wherever I want to go. Even back to the field exercise camp. So that's quite nice. Uh, Alright, but what did... What, 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 where do I need to go? So, the Bracer Guild, that was in... Yeah, that was in Vesta. So, Bracer Guild, West Branch. I remember. Apparently, we're meeting Alan here. Didn't expect that one, but alright. <coughs> Patrick, Agate, and Alan. <laughs> which one are... Which, which one of the, which of these characters do you think are, are more important than the others? We have Agate here, a main character from the original trilogy. Patrick, a uh, rival from the first two games in this quadology. And then Alan. He, he, he had some story development. 
he, you know, he's, he's re relatively fleshed out, but uh, <laughs> overall, compared to everybody else, definitely blends in a bit more, huh? So that's that then, huh? Have my suspicions, but damn, it's pretty unfortunate. Would appear they plan to completely disregard the wishes of the other countries. Hi. It's class seven, bitch. Patrick Allen? What are you doing here? Also, Patrick Allen just sounds like a name. Oh, it's you guys. I was worried for a moment there. <laughs> the looks of it, you've been through a lot, huh? Yeah, but what are you two doing at the Bracer Guild? We knew Agate would be here, but... Uh, my father requested I stay in communication with the various factions. I'd only just heard you lot were on your way here. Me and the Marquis have been on pretty good terms since that incident. So I was trading info with Patrick when this guy showed up with a message. Alan's from the 4th Armored Division, if uh, memory serves. Was it from my dad? Maybe it was something from Lieutenant Colonel Nightheart. You're both right, actually. Two of them sent me here together. 4th Armored Division is currently on standby at the military base. Also, the Lieutenant Colonel has resigned as an instructor and returned to active duty. Hmm. Not a good sign. Main campus students are pretty confused. Yes, and Prince Cedric is gone as well. I wonder what Ada and Fritz are doing. But the most important thing is, the Bracer Guild branches are going to be shut down indefinitely again. Not just the two here in Heimdall, but every single one in Erebonia. What? That's... I knew it. Something was fishy from the start. Yeah, they're pulling the rug out from under us way earlier than I thought they would. So you were expecting this? It means the Tovel and Sharzard are... Yeah, we were all pretty leery of things yesterday. But it's a good thing we got a warning ahead of time thanks to the warrant officer here. Oh no, just the messenger. Everyone, I'm sure things won't be easy from here on, but good luck. Don't worry, won't tell anyone you slipped away from your field exercise duties. General and the Lieutenant Colonel asked me to play dumb if anyone asked. <laughs> I see. Dad. How thoughtful of them. Well, I'll be excusing myself now. I mean, you do the same for us regardless, right, Alan? My old schoolhouse buddies. Right, right? Right? Right. It's been quite a way since our time together at school. I'm doing sure I don't fall behind. That's right, we were in the fencing club together. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Patrick bullied the hell out of Alan. I'd say you changed quite a bit from when you first started at Thor's yourself. Oh, thank you not to dig up a past like that. I was very immature at the time. <laughs> Even once this branch is closed, your work won't be hindered greatly. Father has said he will see to it you receive all the support you require. Got it. Let you know when we need what we need when the time comes. Thanks. Try not to be too much of a bother. All right. Yeah. Note added. Alan. We got Agate and Pat. Oh, Patty Cakes over there. All right now in the racetrack plaza. It's the next one. Uh, to the racetrack plaza. We can talk to Ferris here, and then with that. We can talk to somebody in the Lake District, and then we can go back to the uh, exercise camp. That also allows us to build up all of our powers again, which would be great. Oh, so we got the uh, this fool here, the Marquis Ballad. What is this? Why are you closed? What do you mean, why are we closed? Martial law's been invoked. I'm not saying I need all the salons to be opened. I just want to pamp uh, cleanse myself a little. That's a way of praying for His Majesty's recovery. Bah, just let me through already. What Marquis Ballad doing here? Bad I guess I'd say he doesn't fully understand what's going on. But it's fine, he can't go anywhere right now, so things will eventually sink in for him. My word, I suppose it's fine to just leave him be. Uh, I love that, that dude is the most, like, like one of the most influential nobles around. But the nobles were dying, so like, <laughs> he dude's living in a bygone era. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just can't, uh, can't accept it. But Ferris, Celestine, what are you guys up to? Ah, it seems you're all here. We're with the two people holding an unofficial meeting in the racecourse's VIP room. Mm -hmm. Do you mean... Correct, Marquis High Arms and Governor Regnitz. Though they may be the respective heads of the noble and reformist factions, both are highly opposed to the national mobilization law. So City Hall had no hand in it after all. And I'm sure my father tried to stop it as best he could. Even if they agree to work together, it'd be difficult to stop what's already in motion. But still, we believe this meeting could lead to a breakthrough. Ferris, are you? Seem to be doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Not as much as a lot of you should be off. You mustn't let yourself be seen by too many people. Best of luck, everyone. Alright. See a Ferris, another uh, school school year friend of Elise's in particular. No, the Art Cafe. Okay. The Lucin Art Cafe in the Lake District. Who am I talking to here? Am I talking to... Miria? Uh, no, Milia. 
That's Nancy. Uh, Carton. Student. Student. Researcher. Huh? <laughs> Professor looked a little bit blue. The new law thing really that crazy? I'm starting to live in scary times. She found this in the Academy's books to be deposed of section. I'm gonna send about half of it. Kinda scared. Can you take it for me? Okay. Marching towards dystopia. What well, damn. But they criticized the Chancellor. I remember hearing about a potential book getting banned. Damn. Also, yeah, that is a completely wrong name. Her name is Miria here, but in the guide it says her name is Milia. Which, alright, whatever. Not that big of a deal, overall. Alright, about the other books. So with that, should be able to go back to the field exercise camp. And uh, car number three. Talk to Tatiana, and hopefully we have all of the books now. I I imagine we do. We'll, we'll see. I, I'll take a look. Did we did we get all? Did we get them all? So, so many. many. Magic droplets. Hey, we got them all. Thank you for helping. I saw it so much. Thanks to you, Instructor Reen. The database is really coming along. Please accept this as a token of my thanks. Black Zimmerian ore. That is really good. And my father purchased it from a dealer at the antique shop, but it turns out neither of us really know what to do with it. So I thought it might be of use to you, Instructor Reen. Using this would certainly make quite the weapon, but I should consult Professor Schmidt about this first. Thanks, Tatiana. Be sure to make good use of this. What do you mean you gotta consult Schmidt about that? He doesn't... <laughs> I've made like three ultimate weapons already. What are you talking about? Oh, <sighs> well, whatever. Um... Battle notes to Valerie, although I don't think this one is going to get cleaned up. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get this one, considering... I'll take a look. Like, we might have... This yeah. is wonderful. More than 224 cases of log. Here's my reward. Oh, wow, I did? Oh, I got enough of them then. So, like, I was surprised about that considering with the monster notebook, right? You have to either fight an enemy enough times to get all of its information, or you can use an item, a spell, or a skill to uh, gather information on an enemy. That, that, that's, uh, that allows you to gather all the information about uh, uh, certain enemies, right? So just seeing them once, just fighting them once is not enough. And so I definitely have had moments where I have not, I definitely do not have a perfected battle notebook. I might have all of the enemies in general collected, but I definitely do not have all of the information for all of the enemies. Because, you know, there's, there's always going to be like one of me. As much as I love monster notebooks in video games, there's always going to be like some enemy that's like a rare spawn or... That you just forget to analyze, like, some point in the game that you can't go back and, and like, reanalyze. And so it's like, well, what's the point of that? <laughs> it's, it's, as much as I love Monster Notebooks, they're very difficult to perfect, to, to get 100% completion with. So I'm surprised about this. Hey, thank you for all your help gathering data for us. Thanks to you, our battle database is coming along quite nicely. And please, take this. Emblem. Master Quartz. How did you? Quartz was passed down to me from my family. Quite honestly, the one the Academy provided me is more than enough. I figured it would be better at hands with you, Instructor. Are you sure? I'm sure. Brought it for the best as well. Very well. I'd be honored to use it in your stead. I'm gonna put it in my, uh, <laughs> inventory and probably never use it. Sorry, Valerie. Daisuke de yo. Um, definitely need to take a shower again. Yeah. I feel revitalized. I feel revitalized. And another. They really should have just... Like, they, they give you these showers. Oh, they give you a free... A good break. They give you free 100 craft points. Why, why not 200? Like, come on. I can just take as many showers as I want to, so... Just go ahead and give it to me. Just go ahead and give it to me. Alright, uh, I do want to talk to Tita first, though, because I think... I'll help! I'll help! Uh... Can I not exchange with Thanks. you? Thanks! Yes! Exchange... No, that's that stuff. Thanks! Strengthen... Yes. Nope. Okay, well, I do have Black Zerine Ore, so I already have Reen's best weapon. Can I... Yeah, okay, there. There we go. I could get for Yuna, which not really all that great. Get it for... Kurt, which I already have. Alright, cool. Uh, Altina, Muse, which I really am not a huge fan of that. I would like to get it for Ash, but I don't know if we're even going to be getting Ash back in our party. So I'm tempted to just give it to... Either Laura, because she is our biggest damage dealer. That's only a plus 50, though. That's not that's not crazy. But I could also give it to Gaius. Because Gaius is a very, very powerful... 
companion as well. Wow. Kurt actually has really high strength compared. Did not realize his strength was that high. Hmm. Um. But yeah, either Laura or Gaius would be good here. Probably Laura, to be honest, considering she is our DPS, right? Like, as much as Gaius would probably do, like, a lot more bit damage, I could do a, a, just a crazy amount of damage for, for Laura. Hopefully she stays in the party till the end. I'd imagine she probably will. By the way, go ahead and give her that. Um, Thanks. Where do I exchange crap for? I don't remember. It has been a minute. Uh, and then Luis in the next car down. That one will be for the character notes, which we should have perfected. We, we should have all of those done. Let's check. Let's check. So, so many. many! Over 115 vitality droplets and yeah! I, part of the reason I was using the guy was for these type of things. Thank you for helping gather all this information, Instructor Reen. Personnel files are really coming together. Please accept this. Chrono Repeater. What is this? I need to play Chrono Trigger. That's a game that I've never played, but has always been on my radar. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's basically Dragon Quest, right? Basically Dragon Quest. I can go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, my engineer father sent it to me. It's a modded orbit accessory. That would be perfect for everyone in special operations. Please accept it. I see. Thank you. Personnel note report completed. Hell oh, yeah. Hello, hello. What's up, Varden? Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Marky's Ballad is such an extreme name. <laughs> he really is a very extra character as well. So, like, it, it checks out. It makes sense that he would be that type of guy. All right, optional events, we have the Northeast Grave in Himmel Cemetery. Then Oscar in uh, the bakery. Okay, I should probably save my game, huh? I should probably save my game. We did kill a monster and uh, go through a little bit of, of that stuff. So, yeah, saving system data. All right, um... So, that's in Vesta Street, the Herschel's General Store. I should get myself a little drinky drink. Mm. Well, how you doing today, Varden? Hopefully your day's going well. Hopefully so, hopefully so. Did I have to talk to Fred? No, Oscar. That's the wrong one. Uh, I didn't read what you first said. So everyone in town loves to come here. They're all regulars. Satsuki's from Calvert. Just hope she doesn't get discriminated against. Need to help her out. No, Fred's such a good guy. Then again, that's Toa's uncle, so... Of course he would be. Of course! Uh, how's Martha doing? Well, you guys, things are really starting to turn bad. Don't know any of the details, but you have a strong mind? Don't give up. <laughs> I won't. Not even this situation is enough to sway some people. You need to stay strong. Uh, speak to Oscar in the bakery. Okay. Okay, then I guess I gotta go to the bakery here. The fight bakery. I read that one wrong. I thought that Oscar was, uh, uh, Toa's uncle, but nope, it's Fred. Hey there, you guys. Pretty worried about you, given everything that's going on. We're sorry. Uh, we're okay. Sorry to worry you like that. Sure things have been rough for you, too, huh? Yeah, all the trains and airships have stopped. What are you doing here, Bennett? You, you're supposed to be in, uh, in Crossbell. We're running short on ingredients for bread, and more importantly, we can't even get back to Crossbell now. You're right. Should probably try to deal with that first. Hey, Bennett, why don't you stay here for now? Uh huh? Huh? Uh... Is it really that surprising? You can't get back to Crossbell and you don't have the money for an inn, right? Talk to my mentor, see if you can stay here. Well, you're right, but I don't like it when you're all patronizing like that. Ooh, ooh, these two never change. <laughs> At the very least, she has a place to stay tonight, so that's a relief. Oh yeah, here, take these. They're my latest creation. Last croissant times three. So glossy, they're shining. Never seen anything like them. Thank you, be sure to enjoy them later. Maybe. I might throw them in my inventory and then never use them. Because, you know, I do that a lot with items. Oscar, what are you doing? Aren't you going to enter those for the purebred contest? Yeah, you got me. At a time like this, best use for my baked goods is giving people energy and lifting their spirits. Good luck, Yuna. We're all rooting for you. Got it. Thanks. Stay safe, Oscar. No. I mean, yeah. Like, do you think there's going to be any uh, festivities right now? Shit's kind of hitting the fan. So, I don't know. It's going well. I have acquired alcohol for drunk souls tomorrow. Hell yeah. You got some burr. Varden got himself some beer. So drunk souls, we're all gonna be drinking. 
wanna be a rock star. Alright. Now on... Uh, the department store. That's the, yeah, Plaza Bifrost. There is a thing here. There, there, Hugo! Hugo! I'm sorry, I can't allow you to do this. Hmm, I have an appointment. Is there a problem? That's... You understand the situation, don't you? This isn't the time to be a stickler for the rules. Right now, Kleist needs power. Something's happening over there. Hugo, see what's going on. God, Hugo is such a... <sighs> like, he's, he's also another one of our classmates from back in uh, the, the first two games, but... This dude has become way too shrewd of a businessman. Well, if it isn't Class sevens, old and new. Managed to sneak out, did you? What are you doing here, Hugo? My business, of course. Pitching people on my business collaboration with our company. We have our own ex exclusive distribution routes, and that allows us to deliver items that other stores could only dream of. Everyone has problems to deal with, you know. I want to be there to help solve them. I see. Something seems off here. Has Hugo always been like this? Someone would like to ask, but it seems we're both short on time. Yeah, can we talk sometime soon? But of course. Green, Class sevens, new and old. I wish you good fortune. Ah, I, you go. You've become too shrewd of a businessman. Why? Why? You could have been a good one. You could have been a good one. Hmm. All right. Uh, next up on the list, Bracer Guild on Vesta Street. Yeah, we already did that. You said it's optional, but okay, whatever. Uh, Heimdall's Dry. Okay, the. Go to the plaza for an event. And the last three are in the Sanct District. But I might want to go down to Heimdall, the catacombs first. What do we got here? What's going on over here? Just says, g enter the... Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, yeah, enter here, but where? Damn, Calvert! How could they do such a thing? Yeah, it's a declaration of war! What is the military doing? Don't need to make a show of force right away. This is horrifying. Mm. And all according to their plan. It won't be long before war, as things stand. I know it's frustrating to watch, but we can't afford any distractions. I like how they're all just, like, shouting at the statue, though. Like... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever you say. Um... So, yeah... Lake District, and then everything else will be in there. So the Imperial Museum. Unless we're talking to Dorothy. Dorothy! It's all so sudden. I wonder when we'll be able to reopen. Rilk? 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 That's a weird name. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we're close today, and... Hi. It's Class 7. Is it okay for you guys to be in the city now? They made a special exception for us. Don't worry about it. Anyways, what's going on here? It seems a bit hectic in here. <sighs> Sorry for the mess. See, the museum's being closed indefinitely. Why? <laughs> Due to martial law, no doubt. The government decided that given the condition His Majesty is in, government-funded institu institutions like ours will be closed down for the time being. We were notified this morning. Now say they're confiscating a few of our items. Crew came in just to take that bell away just this morning. That okay? So they didn't give you much choice. Something feels off about this. Anyway, sorry to bother you when you're so busy. No, don't worry about it. I'm just cleaning the place up right now. No, oh, but while you're here, something happened? It's just, I thought I heard some sounds coming from the basement earlier. Dorothy, cut it out! We need to go down there later. I'm sorry. It's not the Dark Dragon, but I do sense something strange down there. Might be a good idea to investigate if that case. Yep, yeah, alright. Gotta go and kill ourselves another big old monster. All my stats are still good. So sure. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Another save. Don't mind if I do. And then, yeah. One more monster, then we will have all of the, the missable stuff in this game completed. Which is very... Oh, that feels, uh... That feels good, knowing that we're almost done with all of the hidden, missable, optional stuff in this game. Unless I missed something else. Like, maybe I did, but... Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. No, no, no idea. Yeah, since we went to the, um, uh, since we went back to the Darflinger, back to the train, we, look at that, oh, I remember this dude. <laughs> we fought him before in, like, a different game, but, um. Do be careful, that enemy's strong. Do be, ha. <laughs> but, uh, what was I even saying? 
Uh, I don't know. We've done all the things, though. Let's fight him. A worthy opponent. A worthy opponent. I really need to go through and, like, select different things here. I don't, Let's go. don't know what the hell that was, but good thing you attacked Kurt, our dodge tank. All right, um... May as well go with Raging Fire. Let's it would go. be cool to have, like, Yuna or somebody Let's in the... Go. It would be cool to have, like, Yusus and Yuna in the support section, just considering being able to use their powers would be pretty nice to have. But, uh, on the same hand, it's fine. Um, yeah. May as well hit you with a helix. With a double helix. Roar. What did you miss this thing called? Wasn't turn. paying that much attention. False. A bottom. Cool. Nice. Level 54. Another 103,000 hit points. Not too bad. Alright, now I want to keep Laura in, of course. I leave it to you. I'll handle the rest. But the reason not to keep Emma in the back is because Zero Arts, I can then just use one of her attacks, which is very good. And this thing is very weak to time damage, so Lost Genesis, this is going to do a shitload of damage. There. What that mouth do? I mean, this thing could suck up at a universe. Good thing I got a universe attack there. there. Oop. My turn. I forgot that there's an autoplay button in this game. Ah. Like. So that I'm playing on PlayStation, right? So I have a PlayStation controller. Um, the touchpad gives you the turbo mode, the high speed mode, on the left side. On the right side, it gives you a skip. So if you press the right side of it, it will skip the the uh, the action. But also, there's the options button right there, which will auto play, which just means you're gonna charge. Really not a good thing to use. And sometimes I'll forget about it, and I use that because. Yeah, I really wish I could unbind that button because I never want to use that button. It's a terrible button to use. But, uh, you know, video game. What can you do? Um, eh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. We did good damage there. Not as much damage as I was expecting, though, from that one attack. Frozen space. I mean, I'm resistant to everything, so it's fine. Ooh. And we got Emma's turn now. Bring him back, uh, bring him back Laura. And we're going to be able to do a big attack. I could go, like, all out with a super big attack. Which, honestly speaking, because this will do a ton of damage. This, will, this, this, this is going to hurt. This will do probably, like, 40k. Maybe 30k, considering he's got armor still. But, like, this is going to hurt him a lot. Maybe even break him. May as well. Yeah, 30,000. 30, if he didn't have Let's armor. Go. I don't know what he's doing there, but I don't trust it. Do I have anything that impedes? Yeah, this one. Turbulence. Not exactly something that I would do otherwise, but eh, it's fine. Turbulence! Sweep them away! Because I just realized we have a very weird like list right here of the characters. Approaching light speed! My turn! Did he heal up 9,999 hit points? Which might sound like a lot, but that's really not all that much. Comparatively. I don't think so. I think he just like got a bunch of like uh strength. Uh, a bunch of, like, stamina back. Dun, 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 I do need to follow up with a Raging Fire, boost our strength again, and then <coughs> still working on, on his, uh, his, like, shield health stuff, so yeah, uh, use that one. It's my turn. Kurt's now in his, like, hyper form, though, so that's good. Uh, I could do the same thing with Reen if I really wanted to. 40,000 hit points might not be a bad idea. Nah, sure, why not? Alright, there we go. It's my turn. It's my turn. And now, Fiddle Helix. Should I? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I may as well, right? Roar! Roar. 10,000 hit points. Yep, you love I'll to see it. This. Okay, so Laura, I'm just going to swap you out. I'm going to swap you out for Sarah. I leave it to you. Let's move. Sarah's a heavy hitter as well. Um. All right, you know what? I, I could, like, I have enough damage on, on board right now to just do a lot of, a lot of bad for them. I think I can just probably kill him in like one or two of these as well, so Very well. we're just gonna go with these. Ragnar Strike and all that. Yeah. Let's go. Not bad at all. And then Fatal Helix. A Roar. Fatal Helix to end it off with. Nice. For we had a sake, lot of damage on board. To lose. We had a lot of damage on board, but I just just went for the murder. Just went for the murder. 6,000 Mira. I like how we're getting money for that. Also, there's an item down here. 
Oh, there is an item down here. That is a missable chest. Like, generally, like, like last time we were here, we got into this room. Oh, there's some treasure. And we just got, like, pushed out. Magius. Not bad, not bad. Alright, but yeah, with that said and done, we've killed the final monster. So, Trink or two, I believe. Let's go there. That thing was very simple to deal with. Having, like, being able to go all out and attacks feels so good. Because, like, generally you want to save up your craft points as much as you can. So that, you know, you're not up shit creek uh, during the next fight. What a relief. But whenever you have access to the shower here, that's unlimited. Like, you can just go oh, all out with so every fight. Refreshing. Go all, all out with every single fight and not have to worry about a single thing. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, we're already back. Already back. Level 54 with Rain. 52 with mostly everybody in class 7. Sarah's 53. New class 7's 51. Not bad. Not bad. Doing pretty okay. Okay, yeah, but with that, now it's time for us to go to the Sanct District, and then I believe we're entering the final dungeon of the game. So, yeah. We're, we're making moves. We're making progress. I need a drink. But, yeah, that mouth tried to do a lot. Tried to do the, the Galaxy Suck trademark. But, uh, <laughs> ended up just sucking as in being bad. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I need to go to St. Sarah's Girls School. Heimdall Cathedral. It feels oddly quiet around here. So Let's go inside after we've finished any other business we have. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. And we do got quite a bit of business as well. Is that the Imperial Defense Force? They weren't even really patrolling until yesterday. What should we do, Reen? Can't get any closer. Just have to wait. Uh, was that the... Was, was that the... And it says enter. You're getting closer. Just have to wait. Okay. So I guess maybe not yet. It says enter St. Asteria's Girls School. But apparently... Either that was the, the cutscene or we gotta wait until something happens. We've got something at the embassy over here. Again, this one says enter, but I don't think we've actually been. The door's locked. Yeah, it probably just means, like, interact. Embassy's completely closed. Well, they basically declared war with them, after all. But they accept the diplomatic relations have been severed completely. I wonder if the other officials still here will be deported as well. Oh, and that clerk. I've really done it. it. means the government is serious. It means we have to be ready for anything. There's nothing left for us. We have to go forth and find our way. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna just assume that, uh... That little cutscene is, is the cutscene. Alright, the last thing, at least I want us to check on Sharon and Irina. Which are on the second floor. Oh, we got some of the girls from the girls' school. Got three people in here. Hmm. Alright, okay, Elise. Sorry for asking you to do this. I'd do anything for Reen's sister. Depending on what Elisa does, we may be family soon. Sheesh. Grandfather! Speak of the devil. And everybody else. We're all here too. Look at how many characters- oh my god. Like, it's a giant group of, of, of characters we have there, right? But when they're individually going through a door, a single file like that, it really starts to... Hit home how many characters, how many playable characters we have in this damn game. Like, holy shit. Rain! Oh, you're here. Ungum, this is quite a spectacle. Hi. Rain, you say, everyone, thank goodness you're all okay. Just heard about your situation from these two. I see. You must have come here because you were worried about Instructor Rain. I won't deny it, but I was also hoping to get a hold of the princess. Ah. Certainly, no, certainly worth the worry, especially considering what happened yesterday. Her father was... and right before her eyes, too. Not to mention that speech her younger brother gave today. Hey, Fee. I talked to the two of them outside earlier. Had the opportunity to meet Elise during the inspections in Crossbell. Had my people con connect with the communication department at the Imperial Palace. They're not very security conscious, so it should work out. Uh -huh. <laughs> so as we did just finish with the communication systems in Valflame, Valflame Palace. It would be hard to do so directly, but that should be a good way to get a hold of her. I'm about to contact them now. Things go well, you can talk to her. With Arena's negotiations and Gwen on the controls, a call was successfully made to Valflame Palace, and a meeting with Princess Alphen was set up. I was surprised to hear that Gwen and Chairman Arena were contacting me, but I never thought it would be Elise, along with Arena and the others. Princess, I'm glad I got to see your face. His Majesty, how is he? There haven't been any updates. He's still in critical condition. But this morning, the medical college brought in a famous doctor. Is that... Dr. Trish Sharon. The medical equipment is currently being delivered. 
I just came this morning on a Reinfurt high-speed plane. He should be fine. I heard that doctor is really talented. That's probably the doctor that we met in Crossspell in uh, Trust Azure. She didn't have a character portrait in that game, which was very disappointing, but... You know, I, I imagine it's probably the same one. Everything will be okay, Princess. Considering Ash is one of my classmates, that isn't an easy thing for me to say. Ah. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need an ah ellipses counter. That has happened so freaking often in these past two streams alone. Aye, aye, aye. <clears throat> That's true. I understand that something was off with Ash. My mom was calmly come, has calmly come to her own conclusion, so please don't worry about that. More importantly, I heard that Altina and Milliam are missing, and Cedric's speech. And Princess, I decided to leave here and return to the girls' school. Huh? But why, Princess? I was worried about my mother, but she told me to take care of whatever I needed to take care of. Now that Cedric's speech has given a speech, I want to see how things are outside the palace. That's very commendable of you, Princess. Probably best for you to see the situation for yourself. Indeed, but please have someone escort you. Your safety is imperative. Please don't worry. I'll have my finest guards accompanying me. At least, let's meet at the hotel. Should be there in an hour. Very well. I shall be waiting. Please be careful. And thank you for understanding what Ash is going through. Even though he did just shoot your dad. Ha! <laughs> to show our thanks, let us take care of things. Ash's behavior, Chancellor, Prince Cedric's speeches, the imminent war with Calvert. We'll find out who's pulling the strings behind Erebonia and get our peaceful world back. Instructor. Same goes for me, Princess. Inspector Red won't tolerate this either, and we will also find whatever it is that dragged your brother into this. You can count on us. Of course. Thank you, everyone. Oh. After that, the call was cut off so that Princess Alphen could make her own call. Everyone said their goodbyes to Elise and the others before heading out. Alright, and with that, there's nothing else for us to distract ourselves with before going into the next series of events. Which, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's, uh... Like, the last stream was pretty intense, right? With with all those events that went, that went on. We had that... All those revelations with the Chancellor Osborne and Reen. And then Ash attempting to assassinate the Emperor while also being like possessed by some like cursed evil spirit and uh yeah so shit's like it's definitely hit the fan but um with all of that done it's time for us to get into the next section which i know exactly what's gonna happen and i'm st i'm terrified <laughs> i'm i'm like legitimately terrified uh but hey that's the final thing that was missable in this entire game so i no longer need to look at a guy Heimdall Cathedral. Emma and guys said some people wish to speak with us. It's gonna take a while, so we should take care of any unfinished business. The story will progress upon entering the cathedral. All additional challenge elements will end. Was there something I had to do to report? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I do want to check one. I'll handle Oop. this. My turn. Let's go. Let's go. I've been playing Genshin a little bit again. I, I'm relapsing into Genshin, so I pressed <laughs> the L1, which is like the. Uh, it's how I have my controller set up to being able to do all that stuff. But um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, report requests. Yeah, look at that. 427. We now the main campus. Hey. Well done. Academy grade increased to a prestigious. Blue Star Lionheart Medal. Gratitude. Continue to train hard. That's a lot of words. All right, but cool. So we did get ourselves a little extra something. My turn. Oh Let's my go. god. Let's go. Wrong Let's buttons. Go. Wrong buttons. Uh, but yeah, with that said and done. Now for real, for real. It's time for that. Good luck, Sky. Hope you saw the war. Restore everlasting peace. Oh, yeah, you going to head on out nine volt? No worries, no worries. Thank you for stopping on by. Always glad to have you. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, <laughs> we're building up to the events of Code Steel 3, right? So, or Code Steel 4. So, <laughs> take that how you will. Now I'm just cheering you on. Oh, well, I appreciate. I appreciate. I got, I got somebody cheering me on. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got the anxiety in my chest. I know what's what's coming up, and I, <laughs> I don't. The, the the remaining streams of this game are all going to be very difficult to get through. <laughs> like I I know the events that are going to happen, and I'm very trepidatious about it because I told you be I've, I've mentioned before this game has the largest cliffhanger in the entire series. Like it's it's crazy. It's crazy what this game ends off with, and uh, we're getting into the end game, just the final dungeon. And there's one event before the final dungeon that I'm not ready for, 
And then there's the events in the final dungeon that I'm also not ready for. <laughs> Emotionally. I was so... Ugh. <laughs> well. Let's just see what happens, huh? Okay. <laughs> I love that emote. I, whenever I was making that emote, I, f I found out that I could, like, really morph my, uh... Characters, like, facial animations. Like, I can go further beyond the slider limitations. <laughs> I'm quite happy about that. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm gonna go ahead and snooze this ad because, uh, give ourselves a little bit of time. No one's here? How can this cathedral be completely so, empty? you've arrived at last. Rosane! My beloved. Oh, you're... Eh? From the Leaves ch Chapel. Sister Rosine? Heard rumors, but... Wait, so what guys and Emma were talking about... I was somewhat expecting you to show up here. Your main objective is different, right? <laughs> yes. It's good to see you all again. Please, come in. They're waiting for you just over there. Okay. <clears throat> ah, I'm glad you all finally made it. Why is question marks? You can see his face. We know who that is. That's Thomas Lysander. The church has decided this issue now merits the attention of the Congregation for the Sacraments. As such, the Archbishop and all the staff here have been moved to another location. Lady of the Cloth? <laughs> you, you're... I get it now. Yeah, we're talking about the, uh... The Crusaders now. The Gros Ritter. Huh? You're that former instructor from Thor's main campus. Thomas? <laughs> Thank you for all your diligence, Rosie. Time for a lore drop. I'd feel much better if you were to stand watch over the front door now. Just in case. The man with eyes always closed has opened up his eyes. You shit's getting serious now. Yes, understood. Leave it to me. Nah, I love you, Rosine. She is so precious. I, oh my god. I love her. Love her. What's that all about? Yes, this was pretty shocking to us, too. Not trust a guy with glasses Let in any chair, No, nah, Thomas is cool. He, he's cool. He's just extremely... Um... He, he's, he's got he's got a lot of a lot of things going on with him. Let's, let's just say that. <laughs> but yeah, guys is going to be telling us all about him right now. This man is a member of the Grosritter, a division of the Septian Church. He's the second in command, in fact, Thomas Lysander. He holds the seat of Second Dominion and is sometimes known by his title, the Kick Partition. Kikakus from Kikakus, yeah, basically. <laughs> Grosritter. They're an armed knight organization that is run by the church. Heard that female terrorist S was once amongst their ranks. Wait a minute! Guys, does that mean... Are you? Now allow me to introduce you. This man is one of the Gross Ritter's 12 Dominion. The successor to the 8th Dominion. Gaius Warzel. Yeah, our buddy's part of the Gross Ritter. I love the Gross Ritter. They are such a, uh, such a cool group. Like, the, just Crusader Knights. <laughs> They're literally just Crusader Knights. Aye, uh, but why? Is that why we couldn't get a hold of you for the past six yeah, months? a lot happened all at once. Okay, cock go After time! After graduating from Thor's, I returned to Nord and began observing the struggle between Erebonia and Calvert. However, I began to feel something dark and sinister carried on the winds of the Plateaus. I consulted my father and the chief, and eventually, my old teacher, Father Barkhorn, came to visit. Barkhorn? What a great name. <laughs> you might remember the name. He was the traveling priest we chased after during the Civil War. Yeah. But it turns out... Oh, it's due to. He was also the Eighth Dominion of the Grolsritter, with the title The Roaring Lion. He was an extremely skilled knight, who investigated the Salt Pale in North Ambria and trained Brigadier General Bardius. Apparently, he was worried, and came to Nord to check up on me. He explained to me that what I had been sensing was called the Gale of Ruin. Quite nice. I'm not sure why I'm able to sense it. Maybe it's because I'm a descendant of those who fought alongside the Lionheart Emperor. You're just that I badass guy. to him and he came to a realization. My boy! But then it happened. A Calvardian ship that broke past the 7th Armored Division attacked my village. My father was away at the time. I fought back in an attempt to protect my family, but it was no use. Right as I prepared myself for death, my teacher threw his huge body in the way to protect me. And as he lay there dying, he passed his stigma onto me, 
Across the nearly 1,000-year history of the Gralsritter, its highest-ranking members have each borne one of 12 sacred markings. This was one of those markings. Aww. Couldn't have happened to a better guy, though. Like, Gaius is... He's such a homie. Like, the first time that I played this game, I was so nervous about Gaius, because I liked him so much. I thought he was such a cool character. And he's even got tattoos on his arm. So I was like, hey! <laughs> I'm very simple. I see a tattooed anime character, I'm just like, that's my boy! I like that one! <laughs> but, uh, oh yeah, I've always really liked guys so much in these games, and then, like, considering I liked him so much, I was like, he's going to be Treyas, he's going to be, like, like something bad's going to happen. But no, he just becomes cooler and cooler as the games go by. <laughs> he's the real homie! Previous game story? No, that's actually events that took place between events of Code Steel 2 and Code Steel 3. Ah, OBS, please. Thank you. But yeah, it, 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 th what they were talking about right there was events that took place in the time skip that happened between the events of Code Steel 2 and 3. Which, uh, everybody was training during those times, right? Like, everybody was training or, like, going down their own fields to try and, like, help the, uh, like, get a handle of the situation of, of the world and do their best to, like, you know, lead Erebonia into a prosperous future. Not just Erebonia, but like the entirety of Zemuria, the continent that we live on. And so that's what Gaius was up to. Like, Emma was searching for her sister Vida, while also still practicing her witch hexing clan magic. Elisa was working the Reinford Group, one of the most prestigious uh, companies that creates a bunch of, like, the tanks, the Panzer Soldats, things like that. <laughs> Ellie was being a musician. <laughs> Machius was in the government, like, inspectorate. V and Sarah were bracers. Uh, Eusis was one, uh, the head of one of the four great houses of nobility. Uh, Laura was practicing her sword skills, becoming a master of it. And uh, yeah, yeah, Gaius was uh, <laughs> was becoming like one of the, the, the like top members of the, the church. <laughs> one of the members of the Graz Ritter, which are just one of the coolest organizations of this entire series. I love them so much. The Roaring Lion. I've heard that name many times. Said many people who were affected by the disaster in North Ambria. Yes, amongst the current Dominion members, he was the most veteran. After that stigma was passed to Gaius, I took him to the holy city of Artaria, which Artaria is the uh, area in Zemuria that is in the center. It is the centermost of Zemuria. So, uh, it's a place that we haven't been to. We are all the way to the west of Artaria. Even Calvert, which is to the east of us, is still to the west of Artaria. So I'm very interested. I'm very interested to see, like, we're, we've only barely touched upon half of the map <laughs> with the games that we've got so far. We've only barely touched upon half of the damn map. Ay ay ay. World is insane. And this is nine games. Nine games later and we've only touched upon, like, uh, maybe, like, a third of, 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 of the world map. Once we get to Calvert and those games, then we'll be in the, the halfway point. Which, aye, aye, aye. After the signal was pre I passed the guy, yeah, I took him to Arteria, yeah. And where he received a night training, hence his half year of silence. I see. Is that, if that's what's happening, you should have told us. Yeah, we could have helped you. It's okay, everything happened so quickly. Did everything I had to do, finished my night training. Last month, Eustace was finally able to reach me. The power that I have received from my master. With it, I will save the Empire, my second home, as a member of Class 7. Ah, Gaius. Sheesh. You've always been so grand and reliable. He's such a real homie. He's such a real one. Thank you, Gaius. Please lend us your strength. Yes, I will give you my all. Probably gonna unlock his desk break now, huh? Hmm. Seeing everyone like him puts us under even more pressure. Also, is Kurt's sleeve on fire? No, there's probably like a candle. Th yeah, there's a candle there, but it looks like his, his sleeve was on fire. What the hell? Uh, yeah, the gap just isn't an age or experience. The group certainly has become awfully formidable. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, like, Reen is the, the Ashen Chevalier. He's a damn war hero. And, uh, he pilots a giant mecha. <laughs> like, we, we, we got some serious... Like, out of everyone, Elliot's the least impressive because he's, you know, just a musician, quote-unquote. But, like, still... Being just a musician allows him to travel all over the world, get a lot of insider information and whatnot, and kind of fly under the radar, so... Yeah, he's still quite, uh, pivotal in his own way. <laughs> eh, not really. So training, just as much as you guys. 
I have a ways to go before I reach the heights of my predecessors. And speaking of which... Grandmother! Stop hiding! Come out already! Hidden lo- You're the one who called us here in the first place, aren't you? Hidden lolly! Hidden lolly! I only hid myself so as not to interrupt your discussion. That's a good morning, Sachiko. Welcome on in. Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Vampire lolly! That's also a witch. Hi. You're gonna be a lot more important in Cold Steel 4. Also, I'm so uncomfortable seeing Thomas's eyes <laughs> this often. Like, he's so nonchalant about things most of the time. But now he's just like, yes, I can see clearly now. I have opened up my eyes. Ah, you're Emma's grandmother. The elder of the witches. Rosalia, was it? Indeed. But you may simply call me Rose. Okay. I had you all gather here for one reason. To explain to you the background between the Hexen clan and the church. I see. So that's how it is. But aren't the witches opposed to the church? <laughs> it's not as though we don't believe in Adios. There have been some differences in opinion over the years, but we and the church have worked together on a number of occasions. For example, during the War of the Lions, or the Vampire Incident in the Middle Ages. Vampire! Not to mention the fight against the Dark Dragon 800 years ago. But all that was just Rose sticking her nose into other people's business. Based. <laughs> huh? Wait, so you were involved in all of that? Legend has it, Emperor Dreykel's camp was once visited by a good witch. And the novel Red Moon Rose features a vampire hunter affiliated with the church who was, in truth, the true ancestor of the vampires. I really need to read those books on stream. Or, or like, I've been meaning to get around to it, because there's a few books in this game, a few of those collectible books in this game that are actually pretty important to the story, like the overall, like, backstory. They're not, like, super important, but, like, those Red Moon Rose books you could collect in Code Steel 2, I want to say. And I really wanted to read them and, like, make a video of that. But, <laughs> uh, time got away from me. Time is very limited. I do not have enough hours in the day. So, uh, I, I need to do that, but it's it's been on the back burner for a little too long. And also these black records that we should read as well, but, oh man, so many things. So many things. They're not, like, extremely important. Like, you can still understand what's going on. So, I mean, it's definitely something I could just do whenever, but I'd like to get it done at some point in time. Hmm, a church-aligned vampire? I know, right? <laughs> Hiss. The woman you now see before you was both of these people, even if she looks a bit different. That, uh, that expression on her face, though, that look. Hey, hiss. How old are you exactly? You nah. Hmm. 800 or so. However, you should know that my situation is somewhat unique. All other witches are normal humans. Except, of course, for the fact that they are all descendants of those who once guarded the Septarian of Fire. Ah, the Septarians again. It's a Terran on fire. It's the same as the, uh, Aureola of Li Liberal? The, the Aureole? <laughs> what is that word? And the Great Tree of Crossfelt. Yeah, Keto. It's a Terrians, the seven gifts bestowed on humanity by Adios. It said that they were all lost during the Great Collapse 1,200 years ago. There are things Ouroboros has been trying to get their hands on all this time. Yeah, now for the main topic. The Aureola of Liberal? Yeah, really? <laughs> I was like, hmm, well... The <laughs> nice thing that's good lady, about her age, yeah. But Yuna's not so lady like herself, so I guess it's fine. Yes, now, where to begin? Grandmother, we don't know anything beyond this. Don't leave out any details. Make sure you explain it fully. I second that request. I don't know the details either. Let's see. Rosalia, perhaps we should take turns talking. Very well, that will su suffice. Well, you guys can take turns talking, but I'm gonna have to take turns saying all myself. Unless you guys want to interject, which please. Okay, they're not going to. I'm sure you've noticed by now, but... There's a front and back to this empire. The spirit veins are directly affected by the turbulence of the government and war. And that causes cryptids and powerful monsters from other planes to stir. That explains it then. As the empire's territory spreads, so will they. The Plamora Grass and the Magic Knights. Where did they come from in the first place? Well, to begin, Plamora Grass is a mana grass from the higher planes. It once served as the eyes and ears of the Septarion of Mirage. Normally it's blue, but after the incidents in Crossville, it all vanished. That is until the after Crossville became part of the Empire, at which point it began reappearing new in this new scarlet shade. And the implications are rather chilling. It changed color to match the Infernal Castle, perhaps. There is undoubtedly a connection. 
As for the Magic Knights, you may have heard before, but they are golems from the Dark Ages. They were created by mages of the Empire to fight against the Divine Knights. During the Civil War, something caused them to stir once more, and now they appear in Crossville via the Spirit, pa Spirit Path. No way. That would also explain the increased incidents with cryptids recently. Ah, yes, the, the Azure Tree from the Crossbell Games and that Golden Ship from the Liberal Games. But what about the Society? The Phantasmal Blaze Plan. They sought to use Crossbell's false Phantasma to awaken the Blaze in Erebonia. At least that's what they said. Or what I heard. Seriously? So that's their plan. Where did you hear that? Well, last night I heard it from the Chancellor himself. He told me some other intriguing things too, but I feel like he intentionally left out some of the more important details. Uh, I see. I heard you talked to him, but... It seems Ouroboros' work in Crossbow two years ago was to bring about some kind of change in Erebonia. Just so you know, Crossbow's Mirage Septarion was an artificially created fake. Yeah, Kia. She was created by a cult to become a Septarion. But she was not a true Septarion. It was stronger than the original, but the Society had no interest in it. Were I to hazard a guess, their goal is to acquire the two treasures that originally existed here. The Septarions of Fire and Earth that I once called the Lands of Erebos home. The Septarions of Fire and Earth. So Lebrel had the Septarion of Space and Crossfell the Septarion of Mirage, but Erebonia had two Septarions. Well, hold on a second. Emma, if the witches are the descendants of the people who guarded the Septarion of Fire, yes, then the Black Workshop and the Gnomes are the same people. Ah, the descendants of those who guarded the Septarion of Earth. They're our counterparts. Much like the royal... Ostalace family of Liberal and the Quarry's family in Crossville. In addition, you may be aware that each Septarion has its own holy beast assigned to watch over it. Liberal had an ancient dragon, Crossville had a divine wolf, and as it had two Septarions, Erebone had two holy beasts as well. However, after the Great Collapse, each of them vanished alongside the Septarion they were to oversee. That's the core of the issue. There's two Septarions, the two groups of people who worshipped them and the two holy beasts. The Septarions and holy beasts disappeared and the people changed their names. What happened to Erebonia 1,200 years ago? Allow me to reveal to you the truth behind the land of Erebos. I'm wondering if Zemur... Because I always assumed that Zemuria was the continent that we were on. But maybe Zemuria is the planet that we're on. And Erebos might be the continent where uh, Erebonia, Calvert, Crossbell, North Ambria, Laboro, North Highlands, Jurai, all of these places. That, that might be the continent that they're on. I'm not sure, because we are getting close to the end of my knowledge of this game, of this series, which is exciting as hell to me. <laughs> I'm almost reaching new uh, new content. This story still reply, relies on a modicum of speculation. Please keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> redeemed highlight message. Oh, Evelyn, everyone's in doing... In the beginning, hold up. this land housed two of mm -hmm. the Septarians. Okay, hold, hold, hold up, Rosalie. Hold, hold up. But how you doing, Keg? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on by. Welcome on in on that Twitch side. Appreciate you. Hope everyone's doing great today. You're all awesome and fantastic. I'd love to stay around for longer, but I need to rest soon. Have a great one, everyone, and you're all awesome and fantastic. No you, Keg. No you. You gotta grow your knowledge. I'm trying. I'm trying, 9 volt. But yeah, as soon as... Oh, I cannot wait until we get into uh, Trails to Reverie, because that's whenever it's gonna be all brand new content to me. New story, new things, and I... The... The... I... Uh, we've, we've joked about how I've already got the, uh, the the yarn, right? The cork board and the yarn connecting all these things. That's when it's really going to happen. That's when it's really going to hit that I'm going to be like, okay, okay, okay. So now, let's talk about this. Because <laughs> now I'm like, oh, I already know some things. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not speculate on a few things. But there are some things that I'm get I'm catching now that I didn't catch the first time I played this game. Which is quite cool. But anyway, in the beginning, there land housed two of the Septarions. The Arc Rouge. Septarian of fire and wielder of fierce power. Rouge. The lost Zen. Septarian of earth and bearer of unyielding endurance. I'm actually kind of forgetting about these things. Each assumed the form of a colossal guardian mm. and went about granting boons and performing miracles for its people. Yeah, those giant statues we've for seen. For a few centuries, the land of Erebonia prospered. But eventually, its people began to vie for power and control. That's humans for you. That's what people the be doing. The Septarians had always granted their people's wishes. But now, their peoples each wished for the other's destruction. God damn it, humanity. And so, the two colossi began fighting. 
Their battle ravaged the earth and split the sky, Ouch. devastating the entire region. The humans tried to stop them, but it was in vain. The Septarian's fight continued 1,000 days, scorching the land black. It's like three years, a little bit under. I actually when don't know what the year is in Zimuri, though. Last, it was a tie. Exhausting their power in one final strike, the two Septarians were blown away, left as nothing but empty shells. Mm -hmm. Yet the tale did not end there. And we've seen those. Those were at the, um... The Brioni power edit. expelled by each Septarian collided and became one. But yeah, we saw both of those, uh, th those colossi. The one of them was in Brione Island, and the other one is in the North Highlands. Which, we saw the North Highlands one in Cold Steel 1 and 2. And then we've seen the Brioni Island one in this game. And the next one. <laughs> Takes place in the same, like, areas. But, yeah, those things were always very important looking, but we never really dealt with much of them. They might still be dead. I'm not quite too sure. As far as I know, they're still dead, but, um, at least we're getting a bit of a backstory about what they are. Resulting in the creation of an entirely new entity. Is that the last thing that we fought? The Great One. The Septarian of Steel. Cold Steel. It was an existence <laughs> created from the union of fire and earth. That checks out. It was beyond anything else in this realm. It was the ultimate source of power. Though things seemed fine at first, the survivors of the war soon realized the eternal conflict within it. They knew this conflict would cause it to grow ever more unstable, and that it was not something that could be handled by mankind. With the Holy Beast's assistance, the kins of fire and earth joined together to see the Great One sealed away. However, each of their attempts ended in failure. Left with no other options, they resorted to their final plan. The Great One would remain whole in the higher plane, yet its physical incarnation in this world split into numerous shards. It was this final gambit that saw disaster averted. Indeed. Their combined efforts bore fruit. The Kin of Earth created seven vessels, while the Kin of Fire split the Great One's power and infused each vessel with a part of it. Ah, the Divine Knights. Seven dolls in the form of knights, each bearing the Great One's power. The Divine Knights. Valimor, me boy! I'm forgetting a lot of this stuff. It's been so long since I've played through the Cold Steel games. I'm like, I'm forgetting some of this. So like, it's actually very like, <laughs> I'm absorbed. Wow. This is beyond fathomable. This is the second time that I've heard this though. So like, it's digesting easier this time. <laughs> I was talking about this in bits and pieces, but so all that happened 1200 years ago. It wasn't a fairy tale, right? At the very least, something similar happened. So what happened after that? And why did Valimar and the other Divine Knights start fighting? Mm, this is as far as the story that was passed down goes. So the Kin of Fire became the Hexen Clan, and the Kin of Earth became the Gnomes. They split the unstable ultimate power into seven, and then both sides decided to watch over the reconstruction after the Great Collapse. Oh, and by the way, many people from each kinship have since abandoned their roles. They joined together, started accepting people from the surrounding area, and created the foundation of what became Erebonia. This is around the same time the Septian Church was spreading across Erebonia. 300 years passed and the Arner family established the city of Heimdall. That's when the disaster of the Dark Dragon occurred. That was 900 years though. 1200 and then 300? 900 years ago, yeah. Heimdall was a small city of only about 50,000 people. Oh, yeah, so small. However, it was one of the burgeoning centers of culture for the region. The Septian Church had finished construction on the Heimdall Cathedral. And there were plans to develop the city even further. Hey, that's where we're at but right now. It was then the dark dragon appeared, blanketing Heimdall in miasma and transforming <laughs> it into a city of the dead. I just Emperor killed you. Emperor Astorius chose to lead his people south and made Saint Art the new capital of Erebonia. In helping Emperor Astorius deal with this crisis, the Hexen clan and gnomes each suffered substantial losses. The Hexen clan lost its elder and the gnomes, their holy beast. And so ended their alliance. The final time they spoke would be a century later, 
It was when Emperor Hector awakened the Vermilion Knight to reclaim Heimdall from the Dark Dragon. He did so at the urging of the Chief of the Gnomes and the new Elder of the Hexen Clan, myself. However, the Emperor fell to the Dark Dragon's miasma and the Vermilion Knight to its curse. The Emperor's son had the Chief of the Gnomes and myself seal the Cursed Knight deep below the Imperial Palace. That would be the last act our two clans performed together. I do not know why, but the Gnomes cut off contact with our clan and hid themselves away. In the 800 years that followed, whenever war struck Erebonia, a divine knight would enter the stage, demonstrate its might, then vanish. In this time there was two of them. I was certain the gnomes were involved, yet all we could do was guide awakeners on the proper course. The Eisenritter. All those events that happened This unending ago. pattern reached its most fevered peak 250 years ago during the War of the Lions. Ye -ye. The false emperor Orthros unearthed the cursed Vermilion Knight. And a mercenary under Prince Lucius' employ awakened the Palatinate Knight. Prince Dreykels found the Ashen Knight, and Leanne the Argent Knight. The four awakened at once, made for a grand war indeed. What about the other three, though? Hey yo, hey yo. So that's how things connect. There are so many parts of the story I want to question, but so Emma's grandmother was around during the War of the Lions. A good witch. I've read about them in fairy tales. As the princess's guide, I accompanied the Draco's camp. <sighs> I remember those days. I used to be quite the beauty. All I mean to say is that the art depictions of me are not inaccurate. <laughs> uh huh. As stated earlier, the elder of the witches isn't a normal human. So you've been watching over the clan after becoming an immortal being. Yes, however, I only came into existence 800 years ago. My predecessor perished soon afterwards, and I do not have many memories from before that point. So naturally, there are things that I still do not know. But there are things that you do know about, such as how you said that the Maiden Leon was the Awakener of the Argent Knight, and whether or not she is Ouroboros' steel maiden. Yeah, Saint Leanne Sandlot, who is extremely similar to the steel maiden of Ouroboros. Arian Rod. That's true, you could confirm so many things. It is her, of that much I am certain. She was the daughter of a count who met the Wandering Prince and later challenged the Apocalypse, only to lose her life. However, before that happened, it was I who guided Leanne to become the Argent Awakener. But Leanne knew her powers were too great, so she kept them hidden away. It was only during her battle with the Apocalypse that she unleashed her full might. In the end, however, she was fatally injured and passed away after the war. Then half a year later, I witnessed her revival. Along with your ancestor, Arsaid. Second in commander of the Eisenritter. Ah, so that's why. Were you the one who revived them, Grandmother? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know, too. After Leanne passed, I thought it strange how her body did not rot. So I took her body back to the village, and half a year later, she simply woke up. I assumed she had become an immortal, though I could not say when or how. Leanne realized what was happening to her, so she left Erebonia to walk the earth without ever telling her love, Dreykels. She left Legram to Arsaid, her right-hand man. I occasionally met with her whenever she came around, but the last time was 20 years ago. It's when she met Ouroboros' Grand Master, who brought her into the fold. Thank you for sharing this. There are some things that can't be overlooked. Yeah, we've seen too many incredible things over the last few months. So the boss and Crow were both... As I said earlier, we have no idea what specifically happened. I think the key is the Divine Knight. The Air King was not an Awakener when he was alive. On the other hand, Dreykels was an Awakener, but he did not become immortal. He has remained dead. Uh, that's right. Instructor Reen isn't immortal, is he? Right, he's still been growing since graduating. Yeah, I may have some weird powers, but I've definitely aged. Is there a common reason? I believe there are only two people who know the truth. The current Chancellor, Gileth Osborne, and the Chief of the Gnomes, Black Arik. So that's the leader of the Black Workshop. Yes, though I do not believe he is immortal like me. The leadership of the gnomes is somehow passed down from one to the next, in order for them to achieve their goal of bringing the, about the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? This is the first I've heard of it. Is that the fairy tale of the end that Vita was talking about? 
Yes, 800 years ago, we were going our separate ways. That is what the Chief of the Gnomes told the Prince and me. He says he was foretelling a future where everything ends. Boy, that's too... It's too much similar to the direction that the Empire is heading. Let me add to this. The reason Barkhorn and I were in Erebonia was because we discovered an anomaly. The spirit veins were being distorted all over the continent, and the source seemed to emanate from the Empire. It was like a ripple effect. Ooh. The incidents in Lobro and Crossbell, as well as the Civil War in Erebonia, only served to further increase the distortions. They continued to get larger after Crossfell and North Ambria were folded into the Empire, and larger again when the Cryptids and Magic Knights of Erebonia appeared in Crossfell. On the other hand, Plamora grass, which is native to Crossfell, started blooming in the Empire. If the Great Twilight really is about to happen, then all of this seems to be an omen of things to come. Who is this Ulrich person? He uses the Masked Man as his agent and hired the Yeager King who is supposed to be dead. Are there other gnomes out there? Well, your dear rabbit friends may technically count, but... Besides the Masked Man, their leader seems to have at least one other acting agent. I cannot say who this person may be, but it would seem they are a talented craftsman at any rate. Oh, and before you jump to conclusions, I am not speaking of that little brat, Schmidt. It would seem the person I speak of possesses a different kind of genius than he does. A talented craftsman. That sounds... putting some unpleasant ideas in my head. A certain G. Nome, perhaps. Mm. <laughs> in any event, Alric, uh, Alric and the Chancellor are probably connected, and it's unlikely to be through the Intelligence Division or his children. With the incident of last night, things may have already been put into motion. Oh. Why do you say that? Last night, we finally decoded the black records that you found the other day. Oh, the black records are a collection of particular types of artifacts sometimes found in Erebonia. I was actually exchanging information about them with Reen. Really? When did that happen? Right before after all of you gradu graduated, you revealed a true identity to me. Yeah, the thing about this game that kind of sucks, though, is that in Legend of Heroes Treasure Cold Steel 2, if you want the, like, canon true ending of that game, you literally have to play the game through in New Game Plus. Because... Only in New Game Plus are you allowed to collect these black records, and that allows you to find all of this information. Which, it really, it annoys me immensely considering my old save files were for the PlayStation 3. Like, I played the PlayStation 3 version of Cold Steel 1 and 2, so whenever I bought the PlayStation 4 version of Cold Steel 1 and 2, Silver Stream, I, uh, I could not... Like, I did not transfer my save data over, and I couldn't, because I, I didn't have access to any of that anymore. So, uh, I could not play Code Steel 1 or 2 in New Game Plus, so I was not allowed to go through those black records and all of that. It really sucks. There's a, lot, there's, there's a good bit of content that we just missed out on because I couldn't play it in New Game Plus, even though I'd already played through the game once before. Ah, sucks. But oh well. It is what it is. Is he told me to not tell anyone. Hope you don't hold it against me. Instructor, I mean, Father Thomas. Sheesh, you probably took advantage of Reen's sense of responsibility, didn't you? Well, I can't deny it. In any event, this is what the updated Black Records said. When the sacrifice is made and the ancient blood flows, the path to the Grawl of Erebos shall open. When the tainted holy beast is pierced by the blade of World's End and its blood fills the Grawl, the great twilight shall fall upon the land. Huh? What? That... The timing is too perfect. It's as if the, prince, the prophecies were written about our current situation. If the ancient blood is referring to the Emperor, then the sacrifice refers to Ash. What about the Grawl and the Blade? The Grawl is probably related to the Sepian Church and the Tainted Holy Beast. Father Thomas, could that be... Yes, as was stated earlier, Gaius. There's a sacred place be beneath the cathedral. The Primal Ground, a facility that was designed to play a major role after the Great Collapse. 900 years ago, when Heimdall was enshrouded in darkness, he retreated beneath the here and disappeared. Disappeared? What about such a facility in Laburl? Yes, there is one beneath, uh, beneath the uh, Grand Cell Cathedral in Laburl too. However, when Heimdall was retaken, the space beneath the cathedral was buried by rock. But what if it didn't disappear and simply transferred somewhere else instead? Ah. So it still exists. The holy beast mentioned in the prophecy is likely the holy beast of Earth. As I said before, it disappeared after the disaster 900 years ago. It is only speculation, but I believe the dark dragon you faced the other day was merely a servant of the true holy beast. Great. Wait a minute. 
Are you saying that the Dark Dragon wasn't the cause of everything? Though it was indeed a powerful cryptid, it was not something that witches and gnomes could not take care of together. And the Holy Beast gave birth to the Dark Dragon, and is still alive somewhere. Where else could it be but the primal ground? All the conditions set forth in the prophecy are lining up. This has got to be a joke. Regarding this Blade of World's End that defeats the Holy Beast, at the scriptures it is called the Originator Zero. I'm speculating that it's a special weapon created by the Black Workshop. What in the world? At the very least, it probably isn't anything like what the boss uses. Do you think it's made of Zamorian ore like the weapons used by Divine Knights? That would seem most likely. <gasps> Muse? Is something the matter? <sighs> oh? Oh? You realize something? Right now, we need any straw we can grasp at. Anything at all could help, no matter how small. Yes, you're right. That term... Originator Zero. Could that be OZ, perhaps? Oh, that's... Yeah. <gasps> that's what the Black Workshop called Milliam and Altina. They're model numbers. I remember that being OZ. important for some reason. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you finally made it. Hey, is that Vita? Is that Vita that Clotilde? Voice. Yeah, it is. Vita! Emma's big sister. Ah, so the prodigal granddaughter returns. Hi, <laughs> Vita. Looking lovely as usual. Misty, uh, Vita. I heard you had been acting on your own. <laughs> nice to see you again, Grandmother. Emma, Celine, and Class 7, too. Hi. And thank you for mediating, Mr. Lysander. Oh, don't even mention it. It always breaks my heart to see a family torn apart so. <laughs> Vita, why? You really don't plan on ever coming back, do you? That's correct. As I said before, my allegiance will forever lie with the Grandmaster. I can't return to you and Grandmother. I can never go back to the way I used to be. Just like the Steel Maiden. Uh, seriously, who even is this Grandmaster person? For real, though. I have no clue. But it is clear she is quite taken with them. I still don't know who that is. So do tell, Vita. If you have not decided to return to us, why show yourself now? Has Ouroboros finally decided upon its course of action? Yes. After our experiments with the three Ions, the six other Anguists came to a unanimous decision. They decided to ignore my warning. Nice. They will work with the Chancellor and the Gnomes to bring about the Great Twilight, completing the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. <gasps> Th that's... So that's how it is. The reason Ouroboros was so quiet the past month wasn't because they left Erebonia. It was to carry out their plan, and determine whether they should work alongside enemies and traitors. How can that be? I if that were the case, it means... They're all our enemies? <laughs> Big surprise, huh? <clears throat> Big surprise. What's this? It's not the Cathedral's bell. Huh? I think I recognize it from Crossbell. You do? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I remember hearing it right before the incidents in Crossbell, when we were still independent. Ah, uh, the Crossbell games. Oh, the one from the museum! The bell from Stargazer's Tower? Yeah, that one but got spirited away, didn't it? from a different direction than the museum. We were at, we were at the museum. <laughs> the Phantasmal Blaze Plan. What a fitting like, name. Like, we know they took that away. I wonder how much of this she foresaw. That is quite enough mumbling to yourself. She. If you know hmm. what is going on, show us! Is the Grandmaster a female, then, I wonder? It'll be a bit tough without Grianos. I'll need your help, Grandmother. Minkyu had an interesting idea a while back, or the other day. He, he mentioned that one of his more, like, out-there ideas is that the Grandmaster is Adios herself, the goddess of this entire world. And considering the way Vita said that... Hmm... Like, it, it definitely seems like that's out there of an idea, but I could see that being a thing. I could see that the Grandmaster of Ouroboros 
is the great goddess Adeus herself. But she might also be referring to somebody else, so I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. Emma, Celine, you too. Wink. Yes. Emma, so happy to be working uh, with her I'm sister not your again. Slave. <laughs> Celine, damn. Maybe not, but you are a familiar. Ah, uh, the Corel Imperial Villa. Yep, yep. That's where the bells tolling from. We got Campanella, the Stall Ritter, Duvali, Anus, and Ina. Wow. That's not tolling right there, but whatever. Ah, uh, and that's the remains of the Vermilion Apocalypse. The, uh, Testarossa. The Vermilion Knight. We also got the Red Constellation and Zephyr there. Opposing Jaegers. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. And look at this lineup. Ouroboros, the Gnomes, and the Erebonian Government. Milliam, Claire, oh Tina, Lecter. Why is she in her um, wetsuit though? Bit weird, but all right. Make a burn. Uh, oh my god, I forget. Uh, <laughs> I forget Randy's cousin's name. Oh wow, it's, it's, it's been a second. I forget her name off the top of my head. Oh wow, too many names. <sighs> Now then, let's say we celebrate the continuation of the Phantasmal Blaze plan by ringing in the Great Twilight. Her name is Shirley. I, I just remembered the... I, Enforcer Number Zero, the Fool, shall play the opening note. Crazy kid. Why are the green-haired ones always crazy? I like there's not even like a, um... Well, I don't know what it's called, but like there's not like one of those, like... Dangle the dingle dangle things <laughs> underneath the bell to like actually ring it. It's ringing with anime power and magic. Ooh, what do we got there? It's not a very loud noise to like wake somebody up. Not not a very loud alarm clock, but. I guess it works for, for this one, huh? Evil power! This is a very pretty room, though, I gotta admit that. Looking pretty diabolical. Looking pretty diabolical here, huh? Silent Hill, that you? <laughs> Sharon's there as well. Sharon is a member of Ouroboros. You gotta remember that. Big ol' egg! Is that the uh, Corel Imperial Villa now? Is it just a giant egg? Got a metamorphosis into that thing? I don't really remember that thing happening. I don't remember that. Check that out. For real. Huh. Sure is something. Imagine the omelets we can make with that. How about that? So, the beginning of the end, is it? Huh. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> Says the dead man. <laughs> Purple-haired maid? Why? <laughs> the growl okay. of Erebus. Sure. Just as the black records foretold. The crypt where the great power will be reborn. Huh. Reen. Uses. It is kind of appropriate that they just gave. Couldn't have guessed this is how my day would turn out when I woke up this morning. That's not the time for jokes, Lecter. Let us begin. It is time. Chief of the gnomes and head of the workshop. 
Show me the way, Black Alberic. There he is. Alberic of the Black Demise. Looks kind of familiar, As doesn't he? you wish, my lord. You want to hear from your customers? Nice, Apple. We've entered into the end game now. The final dungeon has appeared. But it is kind of appropriate that Sharon is just called the Purple Haired Maid instead of the, uh, I guess George. Considering she only gave, got the name Sharon from Irina. And since she's not with a Reinford group right now, she doesn't have a name. Looks pretty evil, not gonna lie. Who? All of these characters? Because yes. <laughs> Uh, all of, I, I mean, only a few of them are, like, truly evil. Like, most of them are just kind of put in a situation where they have to be here doing this, but for the most part, there's only, like, a handful of them that are, like, actually, like, evil to the core. <laughs> like, Albrecht and uh, Gilly Thaws, where I'd say were two of them that should, that are definitely, definitely, like, the ones you got to be the most concerned about. Everybody else is kind of there situationally. <sighs> Rufus. Milliam. Was that... Allie? Yes. But why? Boss, Zeno, and Leo. Azure Siegfried. Uh, and that guy in the lab coat. Isn't that... Blazing Demon and the Fool were there as well. So that's the Maiden. Why? Sharon. We just spoke this morning and... 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 Like these memories of... When Elisa was What's a child. What's going on? Black Arbor looking a lot like her daddy. Black Albert looked a whole lot. Lumen or something like that, right? His hair looked different. Yeah, he was the professor. <laughs> Franz Lumen, the first disciple of G. Schmidt and the deceased husband of the Reinford Group's chairman, also known as Franz Reinford. Now, is that for a plot twist? <laughs> ah, so he has been lurking in the shadows these past twenty years. Assassinated? Yes. Nah. Perhaps for the sake of working with the Chancellor. To engineer this very moment. It's so sad for real, for real. It's Alisa. yeah. <laughs> Snap out of it! Now's not the time. It's only gonna get worse, though. But hell yeah, Sarah. As a bracer, I can't just sit here and let them pull off whatever that Twilight crap is they're planning. Hell yeah. How about all of you? She's right. We can't stop here. We gathered together to do whatever we could to help. Our goal remains unchanged. Yep, true. <laughs> He's just so down. Elisa, let's go. Yeah. We know our destination now. Well, Vita, what will you do now? Well, I'd like to charge in there alongside the rest of you, mostly out of spite. Based. Unfortunately, I suspect things won't be quite that easy. What do you... Something's... There's a turbulent swirl in the mana. Yep, things are Was not that... that easy. I believe so. Things are only getting worse. Father Thomas, Father Gaius, cryptids and magic knights have appeared all over the city. <laughs> Gameplay recording resumed after all of that. <laughs> God, how long was that? How long was that? Two, two seconds? That was almost... Oh my god, that was like 50 minutes. That was like 50 freaking minutes of uh, just dialogue and expositioning. Ay, ay, ay. This hockey. It, uh... Ay, 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 yeah. Things, th things are going on. Like, there's a lot of pivotal plot points happening right now, but it's only gonna get worse. I said before we entered this cathedral that, like, from this point onward, it's just going to be... A slippery slope of shit all the way down. Like, <laughs> we're not going to be seeing anything good for the rest of this game. <laughs> it's just all downhill from here.
We're building that climax for Cold Steel 4, baby! We just killed that giant thing. Magic Knights, the Cryptids. Wrecking Havoc and Heimdall. This happened just like two years ago. Nice. Screw you, Calvert Embassy. And this aqueduct here, screw you too. No waifu moments? Not particularly. Not particularly. The waifu moments are behind us now. Look, that's that's uh, Irina and, and Gwyn. We got family members in there. Nice. Ooh, Rosine with a crossbow. It appears your suspicion was proven correct, Miss Clotilde. Yeah, look at that stigma. You know, that's just freezing them in place. The partitioner's power. A useful trick indeed. I shall assist with the rest. Maybe you don't lose any waifus in the final battle? Well, we'll see, I guess. Damn, though. Thomas and Rosine got a pretty good combo attack right there, huh? <laughs> That's our grandmother for you. Good job, Rosine. Big ol' elephant. Emma, help me! Of course! I am happy, though, that these are, like, cinematic fights, because we have already fought these monsters a few times at this point in time. So, uh, just watching them in, like, a cinematic way, a lot more fun. Incredible. Don't need to trifle this ourselves with the them anymore. And the Witter are capable of? Yeah, magic, I kind of sleep on it. It's pretty strong stuff. Everyone. Oh, yeah, that's Alfin's voice, because, yeah, she said she was coming here. Ah. <sighs> Name all these two basic guards are just like, yes! It's Elise and Princess Alfin! We are here! Wait! Stay back! <laughs> these magic sounds are just like Sky's Arcadia magic. Nice. I didn't I never played Watch much out. of that one, so I don't know it as well. More magic knights! <clears throat> Dead! Your Highness! Run! Where'd that sword come from I, though? I can't leave you here! Magical swords appearing. <sighs> Green gonna protect his sister! Ill-mannered brutes! How dare you threaten these ladies? <laughs> Bringing in all the acquaintances. Patrick, you are not that strong. Just saying. Gonna get you and to play the JRPG of all time? The Maybe. Son of the High Arms family? I do love a good JRPG. <sighs> Thank the goddess. Rain Rush. Let's finish them. Yeah, I like this guy though, just a what Indeed. We should do Fave. Which one? <laughs> Which one? Out of all the characters that are on screen right now, please, please let me know. <laughs> oh, patty cakes there. Patrick used to be like the the like Reen's rival, but uh, yeah, they're they're homies now. Childhood like schoolyard rivalry, but uh, anymore they're pretty all right. Reen, oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Adoptive you too, sister. Elise. Thank you, Patrick. You really saved the day there. I simply happened to be in the right place at the right time. But what in Idios' name is going on? Uh, does all this have something to do with that bell we heard? Yeah, a little in bit. Truth. How dare you confront these layers or whatever he said. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, Patrick is one of the top nobles in the entirety of, of uh, Erebonia. So he's very, very haughty. He's very haughty about things. And he's also head over heels for release, which... <laughs> Uh, considering Reen is, like, extremely overprotective of his adoptive sister, he's, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really go too well for him. Thank you for clearing up what, that's his sister, I almost was cancelled. Well, no, adoptive sister. Adoptive. You gotta put that one in there. Adoptive. <laughs> it's important. He's a hottie, alright? <laughs> you guys like Patrick, huh? I didn't expect that one. Alright. <laughs> and Coach did one and two, like, he's, he, he's the, like, the rival uh, in Coast 1 and 2. Because he's class 1, you're class 7. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. 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 We're playing an anime game. While they're not related by blood, they are siblings. And, uh, mm, my intro to him is being epic. Yeah, it's true. It, yeah, it's true. Like, this, this, if this was your first time you saw Patrick, you'd be like, yo, this is pretty cool, though. Like, hold up. His backstory's, you know, a little cringe, but... He, he becomes a better guy, so, like, you know, you can't hate him. 
You can't hate on him for that. From the Sugiime, I love you as my sister, but I love you as a woman more. You can go down that route if you want to. <laughs> In Code Steel 4, you have like 12 romanceable options, and Elise is one of them. Although I kind of feel bad about Patrick for that case. And also, just the sister route, I mean... I, I don't know, Chief. I don't know about that one. <laughs> She's cute, sure, but... Out of all the characters in this game that you can romance, I, f I feel like you can pick someone else. <laughs> well, whatever. Ezra filled him about the situation and what went on at the Corel Imperial Villa. Cedric... W why <sighs> Seems like all of Heimdall is like this. The Railway Military Police and the 4th Armored Division have begun to move, but... <laughs> damn. We need to keep Her Highness and the others safe. Don't worry. I'll take care of that. I can create a barrier around the girls' school. That way, they should be safe from things like magic knights and cryptids. No, thanks, Vita. It's, you almost forget that she used to try and kill us when we were students. Almost makes you forget about that. <laughs> really? That'd be a huge help. Vita! That's why I say, like, a lot of the characters in this game... My, my. We were counting on you, but... <laughs> I suppose we have no other options. Like, a lot of characters are, are, like, your antagonists or, like, rivals at one point in time, but then you become friends with them later Patrick, on. Please, take care of them. She can kill me. After Vita, you'll be the <laughs> yeah. next most skilled yeah. combatant guarding them. I shan't let so much as a hair on their heads come to harm. Please be careful yourselves. I shan't. I never would have thought something like this would happen. All of you, keep your wits about you. Yes, you as well. I promise I'll come back safely. After all, I still need to find out the truth. And exactly how much you know about Sharon. <laughs> He's smelling Patrick's dweeb now. <laughs> Elisa. My agreement with Sharon was always meant to end the moment he reappeared. The man she fought ten years ago. The one who vanished into the flames he left behind. Your husband. Hmm? Elisa's father. Now that our agreement has come to an end... There's nothing left to tie her down. I'm sure she can return to her former job without a care in her mind. Mother. <laughs> Mother. There are better ways to put it. Schmidt, how much did you know? Nothing more than a suspicion. Mercy. When I found his notes on the Panzer Soldats, I knew he intended to present them to me as a graduation thesis. Apparently, however, he's become consumed with some ridiculous delusion. So I will see this through to the end. I plan to find out what he intends to do with my third disciple. Nah. <laughs> so you already knew about George? Yes. I approached him knowing he was from the same place as Franz. No me, no me, no me. Workshop, headquarters of the gnomes. Hidden away somewhere in Erebonia. I love how Schmidt just knew this. If you're not convinced, then the only thing to do is go hear it for yourself. He just didn't care to tell Karen's us. Karen's true feelings and the truth about that man. What an asshole. Of course that's what I'm going to do. Wayne, Muse, Yuna, and Kurt, please be careful. We will. You stay safe too. He says gnome with hella prejudice. I mean, you would too in this world. You would too. Elise, your highness. May Adios protect you. The gnomes trying to bring about the end of the world. Mm, one of those gnomes. We'll come back, I promise. So please wait for us. I believe in you, Reen. And everyone else from Class 7. Damn, Reen. Please stop Cedric and the others. Asking the Princess of Erebonia to wait for you. I swear it on my honor as a noble, <laughs> and even more, as a member of Class 7. May Adidas protect you. We shall put a stop to that bell and it is very grim similar. tolling. Vita, please take care of things here. Of course. And one of the first times that I saw, heard Adidas' name, done, I thought that too. Let's like, wait, what? Talk. Just the two of us. The god is Adidas? Consider it my way of apologizing for avoiding you for so long. Uh, no. <laughs> I'd like that, but I won't hold my breath. Oh my. Hmm. You reap what you sow, Vita. She's matured since you've been well, away. Well. It seems Emma has matured enough that she can see right through her secretive sister's lies. Exactly. Oh, you're one to talk, grandmother. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 
Musei! Still hiding secrets from us, I see. Wow! Big old bubble. So this is what the second Anguis can do. Not bad, not bad. Very well. We are now ready to depart. Indeed. Let's be off. Rosine, please take care of things here. Yes. I'll try to get in contact with Father Wazi somehow. Wazi? Green, Gaius, everyone, stay safe. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so first off, Wazi, come on. It's Wazy. Look at that. Wazy. But they're talking about a character from... Okay, hello, arm. <laughs> but they're talking about in Legend of Heroes, Trails... Uh, from Zero to Azure, the crossbow, uh, two games, the, uh, th th those two games. In those games, you had Wazy Hemisphere, who, uh, I guess Wazy, because they want to put, like, of a, a more of a Japanese spin to his name, huh? But, uh, yeah, Wazy Hemisphere is his name. He is this punk gangbanger from the, the, like, downtown crossbow, who was actually one, a part of the Graz Ritter, a Dominion, Super Crusader Knight. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the first time that I heard that, I didn't. I was like, I don't know who that is. I have no idea who this this individual is. But uh, yeah, now I know. Now, now I know who that is. And sounds like a cool guy. He's pretty fun. I like him a lot. I like them a lot. I, I don't know if he's a guy. <laughs> they are ambiguous as hell. <laughs> like I, I we, like that. I don't know if, if it was because like the way they they did it in the Crossbow games is like. Oh, we went to the beach, and like he was wearing one of those like, like full body like suits, like like a like a one of those diving suits, and he never changed in front of Lloyd or Randy or anyone like that. And it was like, is that because he? I'm like, are you sure he's a dude? Like, so he's like really ambig ambiguous, and the way that he like acts around everybody, like you can't really get a, he can't really get a, a, a description of of who Wazy is. But I think it was only like that was probably like the way they kind of like explained it but um i think it's probably because of the stigma i think everyone in this has like a like the stigma you can see it on their back because the stigma glows from their back so i imagine that if if they were shirtless if like thomas or guys were shirtless they probably would have some sort of like engraving on their back some sort of like a giant back tattoo that was the stigma that they carry which also stigma is just a funny word for it but either way you too you too, Rosine. I love you. Thank you. Also, those those uh, those guards oh, right. are back alive. Let's go. Let's go. To the Imperial Villa. No, the Grawl of Erebos. Don't gotta tell me twice. <sighs> also, yeah, look at that. The uh, <laughs> the like little logo down there has now got a red hue to it. That's creepy. That's creepy. But yeah, I can't wait till we meet Wazy again. That 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 individual. Was quite interesting. He was quite an interesting character. Also very good. Like late game, late Azure. Whoo! Very strong. Very powerful. Had a lot of like good physical attacks, but then also became really good at uh, magical stuff as well. It's kind of mid in, uh, until the end, but uh, late game ways he was definitely a force to be reckoned with. Look at all these magic knights, and we got tanks, armored cars. Everyone. Mint, Linda. Let me know if anyone's injured. <laughs> Monk, come on. Uh, this kind of stuff is what gets you the big time awards. No way, I'm gonna let my chance get away. Vivi really. Uh... Here, Hugo. You didn't have a hand in all this, did you? I love Becky. Of course not. That's what I'd like to say. Hugo, what do you do? But I can't deny this is the sort of crisis they would engineer. Hugo. What's that supposed to mean? Now you understand why I have to put a bit of a voice on whenever I talk as Becky. Becky! Halt, fiend! That's Nightheart, right? Uh, I think so. It's the 4th Armored Division! Yeah, it is. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Nightheart, our old yeah. instructor. Oh, Alan's there with him too. Look at that. Too weak. Nice! Elliot's dad, Olaf Craig. Olaf Craig the Red. Nice, nice. The Central Boulevard is now secure. 
However, it seems the threat is still spreading across all districts. We received a report that something's happened to the Corel Imperial Villa. All units, break into three regiments. We'll each move to different parts of the city. I don't think Yusuz and Alan had the same voice actor. Both Thor's campuses. Understood. Warrant Officer Allen, you... Oh. They got the mecha bell-bottom jeans equipped. What was that? Yeah. Oh, these things. These things were the final in boss. Idios' name? Those look just like the thing that showed up in the old schoolhouse. That was the final boss of Cold Steel 1. Damn it! And 2. Out of the way! <laughs> Those things were the final boss of Cold Steel 1 and 2. One of them was. So now there's three of them just like as a casual enemy. God damn. But yeah, the, uh, the Panzers have a very interesting design to them. Oh no! Oh no! Look out! Power crap. Aw oh, man, more of these things. Kai! Matthew! I'm glad I should have do this fight. Run away, you two! <laughs> Quit trying to show off, idiot! Yeah, for real, idiot! We're actually gonna be fighting these ones, or we're gonna get a free pass it's here. You! Hi. The bracer lady too. Everyone okay? It's two bracer Leave ladies, but okay. God. Are we gonna be fighting one of them and they, they fight the other one? Maybe. We must rid ourselves of this trash at once. Yeah, as soon as possible, I'll please. Us off to limit the damage. No need to hold back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You have our thanks. We'll have this place cleared out in an instant. Class 7, old and new. Prepare for combat. All right, then. Yeah! Here we go, I guess, then. It has been a while since we've done a fight. It's been a solid, like, hour since we've done anything. Uh, okay, this is this team. Well, that's an easy team setup to change around. Swapping those around. We got a bunch of, uh... A bunch of, uh, dodge tanks. And then... Whatever in the background. <laughs> Got a, an okay magic user and an okay break user in the back. Uh, yeah, sure. Really upset that I can't save my data here, though. Like, come on. Come on, game. Whatever. That's a strong one. It is Let's a strong one. Hopefully these things are not uh, too powerful, though. Uh, probably want to go with a sledgehammer to start off with, considering <laughs> breaking their armor is generally a good idea. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, 200 across the board, so we're fine on that. Do I want to go anything? Uh, I don't really know what we're, I'm looking with. Don't really know what I'm cooking with, so. Just attack for now. now. Attack for now and see what happens. Um. Got it. Okay, yeah, 103,000 hit points on both of them. Break damage is looking pretty good. Okay, cool. That's the case, then. We may as well go with a uh, concealing win. Get the stealth, guaranteed criticals. Always a fun time. I also don't gotta worry about damage. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We got a, go. uh, a counter with Sarah. So we was going to get a counter with Kurt, considering he does 300 times the damage whenever he counters, but it is a lot harder to land that one, so I guess it's fine. Mm, yeah, alright, whatever. Ready? Ready? Ah! The thing about Fee that's really no! nice is that she's so Too fast. Slow. She's such a fast Let's character, go. so like, you get her turns almost immediately. We have a death blow coming up. 0% chance and a 0% chance. Well, hopefully I get that then. Um... Got another turn of break. I kind of want to go to Spirit Unified, though, considering they told us to go all out. What's the stats looking like? About halfway. Okay, you know what? Spirit Unification, then... I'm I'm go ahead and hit with this, and... May as well hit with the Helix. Do I want to use break? Damage? Anything? That break is kind of... Mm, let's go with Raging let's Fire. We, we got a few turns of, of break damage already done, so sure. Raging Fire gives us a little bit more strength, so yeah. And that Whoa. would fail Helix. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, Rain. Go all the way to the other side, I guess. That's fine. Uh, Rain Slash, do I want to use anything fancy? Don't think so. I'm really hoping for a critical, but whatever. Man, no criticals at all. Missed. Ah, I love that. Ah, I love that. He tried to attack Kurt, but Kurt's just so good at dodge. Ooh, nice, we got another one. Let's go. They're both broken. Right now, we need to just go all out then. Uh, guaranteed criticals. Do I really want to do anything here, though? Uh, so I should probably hold up on everything else. Oh, wow, we have a we have a zero coming up. That's not great. That is not actually good. So that zero uh, craft points means that it's going to just rid us of all of our craft points. 
Really not great. Really not great. There's no way I can get around that either. There's like something's gonna have to happen to like lose it all. I'm just gotta uh, miniaturize it as much as I can. Um, if I do a regular attack, puts you right there. Um, use the tricyclone. I want you to sweep considering I want to land. I, I want to be able to use her attack. Um. Okay, you know what? Actually, what, what happens here? What happens here? If I use tricyclone, it puts her all the way back there. Mm, we don't really have like a good set of anything we can do here. I need to use cipher edge, right? I can't really. All right, well, fine, whatever. No pixel there. Sure, fine, whatever. Sweep. Critical. Not a lot of damage, but it's something. Yeah. yeah. Got death blow here, but that doesn't actually do anything, considering. Um. All right. With this, because I'm thinking like we use this to boost our strength even further. Green attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Kinda strange, but whatever. Lightning, right, lightning charge, boost of our strength. Yeah. Gotta I'm think up. about that things. Gotta think about the things. Okay, so. I'm going to attack normal and then interrupt with Reen. Yeah, sure, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I should have done everything. But yeah, I'm interrupting with Reen. Which thing just. Yeah, as break failed. What is that gonna Very do well. though? Okay, so I just I just used Reen, got rid of all of his uh all of his S break. It really sucked that that was there. Really sucked that I had to, like, just have that there. Uh, you don't have Blade Dance on, do you? No, we do not. So I can go ahead and hit with this. Yeah, she could definitely go all My off. turn. Okay, um, but yeah, like, Reen is the one that has, like, the most charge with his CP, so I, that's why I brought him up. 170, alright, sure, yeah, fine. I'll just do this attack then, and then I'll follow up with, uh, Ragnar Strike. Guaranteed that. Uh, just assist for now. Just assist for now because I don't think we're gonna need to worry about that. Ragnar Strike was well, still powered up. 10,000 around mm, about. 30,000. Hmm. Uh, he is still good. 23, okay. Uh, 28. Sure, I guess we'll just do a sweep attack then. Yeah, it's still gets a turn. That's fine. Because I'm Too trying to get his break points for our next fight. Turn. Just because I want to play it safe. Uh, I don't have Emma in this combination, so I have a free. One of these I can do, a free magic attack, but they're not exactly do decent damage to that one, but honestly speaking, I think the better bet would be just to use, like, yeah, Thundering Roar, and then following up with her Northern Lightning. Right, that attack, no. assist with that, an opening. an opening, and then this one attacks both of them. That one's down. Now we just got this one over here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Fading until that 4,000 hit points. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're totally cool. May as well go all out, though. Christmas last just played safe. Yeah, there we go. Done and done. Still had 100 points on fee. And if I wanted to, I could have swapped over to Yuna or Musei. Used their attacks. Musei and Yuna leveled up. Also, I think I got a Zerum Powder there. Which Zerum Powders are very good items. Very good items. All right, not bad, not bad. Next fight. Uh, this is the worst team setup I've ever seen in my entire life. Get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, but maybe I will keep Elisa in just because she's a safe bet, right? Yeah. Because if I ever get a um, one of those free arts, I can just swap Emma out on that turn. And Elisa, if she dies, it doesn't actually do anything. Elliot's really good for healing, so keep keeping him on board would not be a bad idea either. Alright, we're going with this. We're trying to see opponent. what happens. We'll see what happens here. Also, you guys can now use uh, Howling Heavens. I had, a, I had a feeling. Now that he showed, like, who he is, I had a feeling that we were probably going to see that. These ones are a bit more expensive, but, I mean, we may as well, right? So, Radical Design increases my break damage, and what do I have that does the most? Flamberg. Can I get both of them? Oh, I can! Nice! We got a pixel there. Alright, good, good, good. Now! now. Not bad, not bad. It's gonna hurt. We don't really have... We have an okay dodge tank here, but we don't have, like, a good dodge tank. Um... Yeah, I can land both these. Beautiful. 
He's on the break of damage, which is not what I really want, but it's fine. Alright, and now we have everybody on Let's screen. Uh, I do have this now. Howling Heavens. 4S. Damn. Absolute delay. So it will guarantee delay them for 10, whatever. 10, like, units of measurement. I don't keep using this, though, because I'm just used to it. It's fun. Um, but yeah, if I can land a critical here, that will be amazing. If I can't, well, it's, it's what it is. But if I can... Ooh, if I can. Nice, we got it. Okay, so yeah, using the burst. It's, let's everybody attack. Now. Didn't break any of them, which is surprising. But they're both very close to being broke. I'm actually going to let them get uh, get, get a turn, because we're a little... Alright, it's different. Okay, so Elliot in Cold Steel 1 and 2, he had like a, a, a craft that would boost everybody's defense and also would give them healing for X amount of turns. But they've nerfed him hard. That's why healing's not really that good in the later games. So yeah, now I just will do a 30% heal, which cures ailments and stat down, which is good, but it's not that great. The blue lullaby does pretty decent with all of that. Uh, what do we got in arts? I'm gonna hit him with like a, a diamond of Nova. What are they? Fire and... Yeah, fire. Okay. Do I have any fire? Probably not, considering with... Oh, I do. I have flare butterfly. It's not bad, actually. Mm, Elliot's, he's still got high ATS. He's more focused towards the healing, but he's still got high ATS. The Magic Knight's not going to be able to do anything considering he's got a turn delay, all that. Actually, hold up. I could instead swap over to somebody that does damage. And so, like, Machius or Eustace. I don't remember which one does more damage. I don't know. Uh, um, sure. We'll go with Eustace. Sorry. Leave it to me. Sorry. Okay, um, but yeah. It's like we're about to break them. I can definitely break that, which would then give Elisa a turn at the very, very bare minimum. Also, I don't have any of that. Okay, so. We can do all those things. Uh, sure. Fine. Let's just do an attack as well. What are their weaknesses to. If fire is really good and time. And uh, space. So, it's a rule cannon. It's a small area. This one would take a lot of damage from that. I don't know, having that on charge wouldn't be a bad idea. I think anything can do whatever it's doing. Ah, nice. Oh, I didn't see that Laura was there. I was wondering. Leave it to me. I was wondering uh, why I heard damage, but also we got a counter. Okay, uh, but if that's the case, we only have this one. They don't have a turn, though, so like... I could just... What magic do I have? Uh, not really much of anything, to be honest with you. Could swap... Uh, Lisa's not that strong either, so I could swap her out for Machius. Sorry. Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Because now we're in a point where I'm just trying to deal damage. Oh, I can attack this one and attacks both of them. That's nice. Because, yeah, that guy over there doesn't have... Um... Yeah, his turn's just, like, null and void. Ah, missed, idiot! Ah, Laura got it. Would it would have done more with guys, but it's fine. Yeah, then I got this attack, which will also chance to vanish, but I think they're probably immune. 17,000. Magic is very strong in this game. It's just very easy to sleep on because it takes a while. It takes a while to build it up. All right, um, I could use this, right? That would then give me the 60, which is what I would need for that. Also, it gives me a strength up. Okay, yeah, that's what we're using. Um, yeah, yeah. Golden Howl boosts up his strength. My He's also turn. at 200% now, so it's going to do some real nice. Real nice. Um, yeah, the most cost-effective right now with Laura would be to just use this attack. Right. Lion Rush. It's off balance. Follow up. And then yes. we have Noble Rise, which is strength up, damage plus 20%. So, like, this is quite nice. It's definitely better than what we've got Leave going on. Also, we got everybody's turn, so... Uh, all I could do would be a single critical, so yeah, following this up, we're going to go with Howling Heaven. Let's see what this does. We haven't actually seen this one. So we're going to let this one play out. We're going to see what, this, what, what happens here. Ah, yeah. Ooh, look at that thing. Guy's such a cool guy. Where's that lance going at? Oh, okay. It's a lance from God himself. Okay. 
They've heard of the Hammer of Dawn. Get ready for the Lance of Dawn. Or Lance of Adios, I guess. Not bad. 30,000. Yes! Ooh, they even delayed a little bit. Quite nice. Okay, uh, next up I want to use Loras. Which we've already seen all, all everyone else's. So, just moving on. Moving that on. So, Monkeys and Eustace both have a turn. Hey, 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 hey. Yes! Please die, thank you. Oh, we have a lot of turns between this one. Um, actually, we do got a lot of turns, so yeah. Break go with the Mail Breaker. Here. Follow up. There. It's my turn. Uh, Eustace, do you get a turn? Yes, you do, you get a turn. Okay, um... I'll we'll go ahead with... Uh, I don't know which one's stronger, physical or magical, but... Sure, we'll just land with this one. 10,000? Not bad. Like, just under 10,000. Ah, and that follow-up was enough to kill. I was trying to build up my brave points, but uh, that works out too. I was going a little too strong with that. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad of a fight at all. A five-minute fight and a six-minute fight. Now, hold on, yeah, I got a Zerum powder from that. That's a really good. That's a really good item. Not as good as the Zerum capsule, but still quite, quite good. <sighs> Those things were no joke. Nah, they weren't that bad. But with that, we should be safe. They were relatively easy comparatively. Those things are generally really strong. Targets eliminated. They were kind of squishy. Are you guys okay? You're not hurt, are you? Whoa! That was so cool! You beat those things up super hard! So cool! I, I was so scared! What are you looking at, Reen Schwarzer? All right, He's you're actually super cool. All right, I didn't quite catch That's that. That's Toa's cousin. Forgot about I, I that. Didn't say anything. Well, anyway, I'm glad you're all okay. Kai. Martha. Oh well. Martha, Fred, Oscar, everyone. Oh, you saved them! The only one that has a name is Thank Bennett, you that you didn't name. And as for you three, you had us worried sick. Uh, I'm sorry, Mama. Things are in a storm a little bit. I hear some rumbling. <laughs> it seems like it turned out okay. Nia, Matthew. Oh, Philly. Everyone's taking refuge at the <laughs> inn. You should come too. Guys. I don't remember her. She doesn't have a, a, an important character design, so... I forgot. Looks like you're all done too. As soon as we confirm everyone's safe, we need to keep moving. Speaking of that, three more. Let's not deal with all that, huh? I did kind of go all out. Even more? Why are there so many? My, my. This will prove troublesome. They keep reappearing. We can't just leave them here. Some of us should break off and head to the palace. No need. No need. Who's that? I don't actually recognize that voice off the top of my head. Huh? Sounded like a Panzer Faust, a rifle, and a pistol. You know how little that narrows it down? Up there! Oh! There's so many of the bastards. They just keep coming. What should we do, Mama? Ashley and Jingo. Oh, this is nothing compared to that crap with Vald. Vald, <laughs> eh? They're talking about him just too. Just break them one by one and drive them back. Vald Wales. You help too. Josette? Hey, look at her. With a pistol, though. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you two are related. You're both completely insane. <laughs> Leave this to us. You all go on ahead. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Josette and Ashley know each other. Probably from the Trails in the Sky games, though. Freaking Jingo, the ten-year-old with a damn javelin. It's Jingo and them. <sighs> Josette, too. Thank you. Let's get everyone out of here right away. Bennett, Philly, help me. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It would seem the situation is under control here. Let us move on. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Cool kids Good on the luck. block. Right. May Adios be with you. <laughs> Thank you. Later, Fred. Well, tell Toe you said hi and that you're alive. Now's not the time to be stopping while we're on the phone. Hey, look. Rain. Speaking I'm of the devil. I'm so glad I was finally able to get a hold of you. Hi, Toa. Toa. How are things on your end? The Imperial Defense Force left just now. Is Heimdall really under attack? What's going on there? All hell is I'll breaking loose. So please try to stay calm. Quite literally. Long story short, the Corel Imperial Villa. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. 
bla 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 yeah, Patrick's dad, and the Marquise high arms. Celestine with just like the the Taito. <laughs> Monsters! Hey, Marquise Ballad. RMP. Hey, those guys make sense having javelins, but. Freaking Jingo. I mean, it makes sense that Jingo would as well. Freaking the Super Butler, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah, you know. That's not a surprise. We've lost communication with Balflame Palace. It seems the Chancellor, the Crown Prince, and the Governor General are all out. <sighs> Chancellor Osborne, you really are. Lord High Arms, it's Patrick. He's confirmed Her Highness the Princess is safe. However, Marcus Rodner is still missing. He was last seen heading east. I see. Oh, yo, Angelica's dad doing something? It's turning out just as she predicted. We should begin preparations for our next move. Who is this she? Oh, I know who this she is. Never mind. I oh, like how he's got a Bring gold here, one. The die has been cast. Jesus Christ, this Put the guy. Put plan in motion and protect as many of the citizens as possible. Understood. Wallace. Brigadier General Bardius Wallace. Wallace Bardius? I remember which name is first. Yeah, the Black Whirlwind. Haven't seen his Hector in a long time. Guess we'll just need to wait for the main players to show up. God, that spear of his, though. Begin operation! This will be the Viceland Army's first battle! We'll enter from the West Gate and take down every cryptid and magic knight on the way to Heimdall Station. We'll have company, so let's show them what we're made of! Yes, yes Commander. Commander! Yeah! I'm really getting everybody all riled up for this one, huh? Back at the branch campus. Is that Ra yeah, Randy, Toa, and uh, Irving. And all the students. Are we packing up to head out? Tita! Ready! Stark and Maya. I think that's Stark at least. So Shirley and the Red Constellation are there. Shirley, they George, are. I was afraid of this. Claire, too. What is she thinking? Just following orders. This is Irving. The Ark Royale has moved. Oh. I'm Dal Station. Are they headed for the villa? Doesn't that train belong to the main campus? Yes, it does. You mean that red armored train? It would appear the time has come to settle our rivalry with the main campus. Aurelia! In the Golden Rock Shasta Panzer. Hell yeah. So much gold lately. Such a weak metal. But it's flashy. I'll be heading off on my own now. All of you should hurry to the villa to help Schwarzer's group. KK. Wait, wait. Love you, Aurelia. Where are you off to? <laughs> I have some personal business to take care of. Don't worry. I'll still fulfill my duty as principal of the branch campus. I'll even take down a few of those monsters while I'm at it. How kind. All my young horned lions, may luck be on your side. Fight well. And off she goes. It wouldn't be a fight if it wasn't... Uh... Brigadier General Bardius. Personal business, she says. And Aurelia fighting anyway, side by side. we need to hurry to the villa. Seems like the Chancellor is the one behind all this. What are you gonna do? Huh? I shouldn't even need to say it. I will take action as an instructor of the branch campus. Hell yeah, Michael. He finally sided with us. After all this time. Oh man. Save our game. Okay, definitely going to save our game there. I really want to proceed into this next area because I know what's going to happen, but it's also, I have no idea how long it's going to take between these, uh, <laughs> like, like all these cutscenes. Because we, I, I can think of at least a few more, like, pretty extravagant cutscenes that we're going to be getting into before we get into the final dungeon. And so I think we might have to end it there. It is around the, my usual time to end stream. And also, uh, 
I kind of really got to go to the bathroom, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so, like, I don't know if I can hold out for a whole lot longer. So, yeah, I think maybe with that, we will save our game there, and we will save the rest of this. We'll start off the next stream with a huge bang. Idol meeting stat! Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, it's the normal time for me to end stream anyways, so, yeah. Considering we got to save, probably should, uh, should do that. Sky's ready to rain, yeah. Yeah, the golden showers are coming. You've heard of spring showers. Get ready for golden ones now. <laughs> but either way, either way, we, uh, we're at the end of stream. Is there anybody that I haven't rated into before that is a streaming right now? It does not seem like it. So, uh, yeah, I think we will just end the stream for today. <laughs> Thank you for the stream. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> but now we are getting into the late game of this, and... Oh, it's so exciting. Stuff is, is going on, stuff's happening, and I cannot wait to, uh, to, to, to finish this one off. Cause we're very close. I think we've got, like, depending on how long the final dungeon goes, we could finish this, stream, finish this series in just one or two more streams. It really just depends on how, uh, how much time the final dungeon takes me. But, uh, yeah, we, we, it's hitting the fan. And, like, the beginning of next stream is going to go off with a bang. Like... For real. It's gonna go for the bang. It's gonna start with a bang. So, uh, make sure you're all ready for that on Tuesday, Thursday of next week. I think, um, yeah, this, this Sunday is Easter, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything on Monday. Because, generally speaking, I, I'm pretty busy on Easter, so I'm gonna take, like, the day after to recover from Easter. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything then. But tomorrow, it's Good Friday, but that just means we're gonna get drunk and play Dark Souls 2, baby! Drunk Souls 2, Dark Souls 2. So, I uh, hope to see you all there. But yeah, Monday, probably not going to do anything. Tuesday, Thursday, we're going to have more Legend of Heroes. Maybe finish this series off. And, uh, yeah, we're taking it from there. So, uh, hope to see you all there. But either way, everybody on Twitch, yes, stay awesome. No raid today. But uh, I appreciate you all, all men immensely. <laughs> what did I miss? The entire stream. Hey, King, how you doing? Glad to see you. Thanks for stopping on. Bye. But yeah, it's we're ending for today, so, uh, yeah, Twitch people, you stay awesome, YouTube people, like, comment, subscribe, all of that nonsense, and I will see you all in the next one, alright? You all, take care!